This is what it should be. This is your boy N O R E. What up? It's DJ E F N. And this is Bill Tame McGee. You guys ready? I'm just drinking cast Drink cast makes the noise. Right now, listen. You know, we uh, as as I always do. You know, I do my due diligence and I do my research when I when I interview somebody. And I was going through this man's catalog and I was going through his bar selection. I think you might be too good. Mm. <laughs> so, I, so let me finish my intro. <laughs> I actually compared this guy. I put him up there with Rock Kim. Wow. You know what I'm saying? When it comes to lyrical uh, content, I believe he belonged in that era when it, when, it come, when it comes to that. The man has to be the most loyalist person I've ever seen. Held his wife down. Thank through you. a whole trial. And we need more examples of that. He's a lyrical bar lord. I mean... I don't think, I think he, he can rap with anybody on the track. So in case y'all don't know who the fuck I'm talking about, I'm talking about the one and only motherfucking Pat Poos. Hey, 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 hey. Now, I got to ask you, right? Like, when you and your wife argue, do y'all, like, battle rap? <laughs> <laughs> like, I just thought about that. Yeah, like, 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 nah. how, like, when y'all have disagreements, it's just like, y'all go in the kitchen, y'all like, yo, what's, this, what's gonna be? Honestly, I, I wish we did, man. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> um, she'd kill me if we did, but I'm nah, we don't. I'm about to say that. I think I'm probably the only person that could get you. She'd kill me, man. Right, right. So <laughs> let's, let's, let's take it from the beginning, right? Because in the beginning, uh, it was a case slay that you guys started with, and didn't like Buster came on, right? Yeah, Is yeah. Is that accurate? So how, how did that case slay connection start? Man, um, I met Slay, man. Just you know, what I mean, just being in the hood. You know, what I mean, hip hop was always my dream. You right. know what I'm saying? And coming up in the hood, man, it was just so far from reality for right. me. Right. And then one day, I was listening to the radio, and I heard this dude on the radio. But he was playing new artists. Mm. And back then, if you wasn't coming through Rockefeller right. or Murder Inc. or Rough Rod or one of those right. crews. You wasn't getting on. And from, was, was this the drama hour you described? It was around that era. Yeah, okay. yeah. He, he was on um, High 97. You know okay. Saying? And Slay's a super legend. And I'm listening yeah. and I'm hearing, I'm like, this dude is playing new artists on the radio. Right. I need right. to meet this dude. Right. So I always kept that in my mind. You know what I'm saying? Mm. And I was in the street. I got locked up. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I, I found myself on the island. Not for a long time. A little right. couple weeks. Right. But I'm in there and I'm like, yo, man. When I get out of here, I gotta go meet this dude, man. Right. I, gotta, I gotta change my life, because right. this is my future. If, right. I, if I continue doing what I'm doing, I'm definitely gonna end up, you know what I'm saying, going up north and All doing right. some time. So when right. I get out of here, I'm gonna go meet that dude. Mm -hmm. And I got out, I went to the studio, I recorded seven songs, right. you know what I'm saying? I took the, the picture for the cover, I had a mic in one hand and a gun in the other hand, put my number on the CD, mm -hmm. and I went up to Hot 97, I looked it up. I ain't had Google or nothing, I must have used Yellow Pages or some word, shit. Word, word, word. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, it, uh, yeah. I went to the station and I just waited for him, man. Mm -hmm. And he came, he came out. Matter of fact, he came and he was going to work. I gave him, yo, my name Papoose, man. Here you go, this is my demo. You know, Slay, he took it and went in the All building. Right. I went to the radio, I'm listening. I don't hear my song. All right. like, but did you Damn. ask him to play your record? Or I no? just gave him the joint. In my mind, yeah, yeah. it was gonna happen. Yeah, yeah. In my mind, yo, I, found, I finally met a nigga who on All the radio. Right. Right. It's up. And right. that happens to him every day, you right. assume, you know? Most likely. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm listening, he ain't gonna play my shit. I'm like, Damn. <laughs> I'm gonna do this shit again next week. Then. Yeah. I come back next week, I do it again. Same routine. Yo, here you go, man. My Same name's CD Pat. or different CD? Same CD. Okay, okay. It's seven songs. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Yo, yo, here you go. My name, my name Papoose, man. He like, all right. He go in the building. I'm listening again. I'm like, damn, this nigga ain't playing my shit again. <laughs> right, right. So I said, you know what? Next time when I go, I'm gonna wait for him. And that way when he come out, he's gonna have to explain to me why he ain't play my, my music. Right. So I'm listening. He go off at two o'clock. It's like 150. I'm like, damn, I still don't hear my song. <laughs> I'm like, fuck that, let me call up on the radio. I call up from down in the car. He picks up. I'm like, oh shit. <laughs> so he like, yo, what's up? I'm like, yo, man, why you ain't playing my song? He like, yo, everybody can't be a rapper, man. 
Some people gotta be a fireman. I'm like, oh shit, this nigga dissing me. So I'm like, that was hard. That was hard. How old were you at this point? I don't remember exactly how old I was, but I was a lot younger. Okay. So he, I'm like, all right, when he come down, I'm going to see this nigga. Right. You know what I'm saying? So he come down. I'm going at him. He going at me. So the person who he was with at the time, he got in the middle of us. Mm-hmm. I'm saying, he like, yo, yo, you can't do it like that. Give me the CD. I got you, man. Right. I'm like, all right, whatever, man. I spin off. I'm back in the hood again. Now I'm in a situation where I'm about to throw my life away. Right, right. And my phone ring while I'm in the midst of that. Mm. It's Slay on the phone. He like, yo, you on the radio next week. I'm like, wow. And then I went up there. He had Prodigy up there, rest in peace. Wow, rest in peace. We spit live on the air, and the rest was history, man. Oh, uh, that's good, y'all. That's good. Sorry, man. <laughs> so eventually, Buster Rhymes becomes a part of this. How, how is that? Buster's hearing yeah. you on the radio, and yeah, he wants to get yeah. down? Yeah, I started, me and Slay started flooding the streets with a lot of mixtapes and shit. Uh-huh. And um, Buster heard what, what we was doing, and eventually he reached out. Right. Like, yo, I want to fuck with this kid named Pat Poose, man, you right. know what I mean? And we um we did a couple records together here and there, and eventually he put me on that big one. Well, I'll touch it. Yeah, that shit changed my life, man. I couldn't go to the mall no more after that. You mm. know what I'm saying? Word. <laughs> this is before Remy, right? Um, nah. I met Rem. I met Rem like 04. No, I'm sorry. I met Slay in 04. I met Rem like around late 04, 05. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to be mousing around. Let us let's get some champagne, buddy. By the way, your, 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 your drink, I, I always pay attention to the artist's drink order. Okay, okay. And your drink order was out of line. Oh, word. <laughs> you picked Hennessy and Don P. Yeah. We are drinking Douce. Word. Because it's black owned, okay. and we drink it eight of spades, okay, sir? I ain't mad at you. We, 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 <laughs> Cause, cause I like, man, card over here, man. Damn, you should have told me. I would have brought. I would have brought it, man. <laughs> no, no, I would have brought it. We good. You're our show. Okay, we got you, brother. Okay. Say so, no more. Yeah, let me ask you something. Like, like, yeah. like I said, I'm gonna bounce around a little bit. What? How come you ain't never have a relationship with Rockefeller, or is there a, a quiet relationship? Um, nah, I never had. Because we in Queens think all your Brooklyn niggas know each other. Oh, word. <laughs> that's funny as <laughs> hell. Like, like, I mean, I, I fuck with Bleak, but you know what I mean, I fuck with Bleak now. But back right. then, I, I really didn't. Have, matter of fact, me and Bleak actually did a mixtape back then too. Really? Um, but I never had a relationship with them, with them like that. You know right. what I'm saying? Because you got to understand, Slay signed me. Right. And Slay oh, didn't get along with. That's right. Slay, they didn't mm, get along, so that right. door was like kind of closed for me. Wow, I never even put you know two saying? and two together like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, wow. yeah, man. You know what I'm saying? And wow. the history was, was a little, a little shaky. Right, right. You know what I mean? Right, right. No, that makes sense. That makes sense. That makes sense. Would, would you ever want to do a record with Jay or like connect with him? Hell yeah. yeah. I, I would love to. You know what right. I'm saying? It was a time where, um, you know. I, I did an interview and I said a couple things in the interview. Yeah, I was about to ask you about that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Explain, and, uh, explain that. Explain and, um, that. Well, you know, uh, I did an interview. I forgot what it was. I think it was the Daily News or some shit like that. Uh-huh. I did a long-ass interview. Uh-huh. And uh-huh. somewhere in the interview, they was like, yo, you know what I mean? Do you think you're the best? I said, yeah. They yeah. said, it better than Jay-Z. I said, yeah. They said, oh, next thing I know, that was the headline. Yeah, oh, yeah. Fuck all the other shit I, I spoke about. I thought it was King of New York. I thought it was, was it? Was it? Oh, no, that was a whole nother, oh, uh, nother okay. situation. <laughs> 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 I do. You got a couple of them. But um, uh-huh. they just took that part. Uh-huh. Pat Poo says he's better than Jay-Z. You know right. what I'm saying? The interview wasn't even about that. Right. I mean, but whatever. Right. Um, And that was that. So... It went on from that. Then I went on. I went in the studio. Mm-hmm. I said I, I backed it up. I uh-huh. doubled down on it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> I said I'm better than you know what I mean. Correct. Whatever, whatever. Uh-huh. And then um, eventually I met him though. He, uh-huh. sh- he showed me love though. Okay. He's like, yo, you competitive, man. I, right. I like that. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah, like, he sees everything. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Like uh, word. So that, that's crazy. Yeah, man. That, that makes a lot of sense. Now, uh, like I said, I was going through your stuff, and like. Your bars is really, really complicated. It's really like, I think like, so. I, I can tell that you really think you all the way through. Like your shit just makes sense. Like I'm not, my, my my favorite shit right now is Bucket Hat Low. Okay, over oh, uh, Russ. Uh, are you and Russ? Shout out to Russ. Yeah, shout oh, out yeah, to Russ. Oh yeah, yeah. Shout out to Russ, man. That shit put some album. type of shit in me. Like I was like, ooh, listening to that. Can we? You got Good that? Can you Good see looking. if you can that? Yeah, can you play that? Yeah, shout out, that? shout out to Russ, this is, man. This is a different type of. And that's his record. That's your record. No, that's, that's his joint. On his album. His joint. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Put me on his album. Big up to Russ. You want to come back too, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, pick him up. Shout out to Russ, man. Yeah, which one? Which one of you said was the cold one, Lee? Damn, I forgot. Yeah, that. Yeah, put the play. Play that for one. We don't even do this. We don't even play music. Oh, word. The first time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That that does something to me, man. That's what's up. Yeah. <laughs> now you got you gotta say who were the influences behind and one of your first looks was Cool G Rap, right? Yeah, definitely, man. Uh when I was younger, a friend of mine, you know what I mean, he introduced me to G Rap. I spit for him, and we did a song called Home Sweet Funeral Home. 
Ooh. Or, or G, um, Roots of Evil album. Ooh. That's dope. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, yeah shout out to G Rap, man. Big brother right shout there. Shout out to G Rap. He got to come outside. I said that on the last episode, mm-hmm. right? Yeah, <laughs> man. He going to get mad at me, but I'm saying it. G Rap, you got to come out. You got to come on Drink Chat. Oh, yeah. Bro. A lot of niggas got their style from G, man. Yeah, yeah. nah. Yeah. Well, they influence a lot of people. Top five. So, who, who, who's your top five? My top five is uh, G Rap, Kane, Biggie, uh, Nas, and Karis One. Mm. That's a good one. No Rock Kim. Rock Kim, honorable mention, man. I, I need to sit. I need it. You no, know I mean, I need a six. I need ten, really, but right. I gotta put the right, R in there. Let's go to ten. Let's go to ten. Gotta we, go to let's R see where you go to ten. Okay, I gotta put the R in there. Mm-hmm. Uh, number six. I gotta put um, Big Pun, number seven. I gotta put Tupac, number eight. I gotta put Busta Rhymes, number nine. And no, me in no particular order, my wife, man. Mm. No Tupac. I mean, no. I said Pac. I said Pac. Pac. Yeah, I said Pac. Pac. No Hov. Lyrically, I don't got hold of my time. I mean, on a business level, though, be hold is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> you're a troublemaker, man. You're a troublemaker. You're a troublemaker. No, 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 no. Yo, you know what's crazy? I'm going to be honest with you. <laughs> you better be careful. <laughs> that nigga said, you better be careful. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I'm going to be not honest funny with you. Nigga. The reason who doubt first came out, mm-hmm. I did not like it. I, 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 I mean, it, I can say this, man. When Reasonable Doubt first first came out, I wasn't crazy about it. I wasn't. But now mm. I look back at the shit he was saying. Yeah, I, I and was how broke. he lived all of that shit out. Yeah, mm. I got a whole new respect for it. But I, at the I, time, I was. I like, always tell him, or I tell his people, was up like, yo, I was broke. So like mm. all that big boy talk, I felt, I felt like he was frosting on me. So you I didn't relate to it. <laughs> yeah, I felt, I, like because if. If you say you got money and say you broke nigga, go switch your lanes. Switch your lanes and shit like that. <laughs> you're like, you're talking to me. Right, right, like, right. Yeah, <laughs> damn, you look, you're looking at this shit. He like, you know what I mean? Like, he always made me feel like that, like, uh, to a certain extent. Like, uh, I always say this story. Um, when Niggas in Paris came out and we was going to a club and I went with one of my friends one of my friends asked me to borrow money mm-hmm. and I gave him some bread and we go in the club and my friend is in there talking about, what's 50 grand to a nigga like me? Would you please with mom? I'm like, right. it's a lot, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? I'm sorry, man. I'm bugging out. <laughs> but, um, yeah, that, that's crazy. That's crazy. So, so moving on. At one point, I felt like you thought you were blackballed. Oh yeah, definitely. I definitely was. Do you think that's this, uh, that really exists in this industry, blackball? Yes, absolutely. Explain that to the people for a new artist who's going. Basically, go it's another word for hate. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Um, niggas hate on you, or if if they're intimidated by you, mm. they'll find a way to to prevent you from reaching your potential in this mm. game. Mm. And it really exists. You know what I'm saying? Executives, mm. um, DJs, mm. like yeah, niggas, niggas will blackball you and will hate on you. I definitely fell victim to that early did, in my did career. Did you think, because I, I, I think at one point you was alluding to you thought that Rockefeller was, like, blocking um, you. It wasn't me that said that. A uh-huh. lot of people always uh-huh. said that. Uh-huh. Like, it, it, it always haunted me. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people, like, I, I get, I probably get a message like that once a year, like, yo, like, <laughs> they, they blocking <laughs> you? Niggas blocking you, you know what, what I'm saying? Nah, yeah, real talk. You know what I'm saying? But me personally... You know what I mean? I never experienced it. Right. You know what I'm saying? But I, I heard it a lot, to but be honest with you. But it would have been because of the slave connection? I don't know what, what it was right. for. You know what I mean? All I could do was assume because, and you know what they say about assuming. Right. I right. never had no problem or no issues with nobody over right. there. You know right. what I'm saying? But um, to answer the Nori question, yeah, I heard that a lot throughout my career. Mm. And, and, and like, what was the signs that, that, that you felt that like you ever was trying to get uh, records added to the radio? Uh, and and, and how, how was you feeling? Well, like- well basically, when I met Slay, you know what I mean? Luckily, I was fortunate enough that I, I created a, a real serious buzz quick. Right, right. And, you know, a lot of people was fucking with me. I was You're touring. Like a million dollar deal with Jive, right? Yeah, eventually. Let's make some noise for that. Let's not, yeah. let's not look over that. Let's not look over that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 it was a rough ride, man. Right. I look at it like, the, I put it like this. I met Slay in 04. I didn't get a deal till like 07. Wow. That's how that's how hard niggas was blocking me. Yeah, that's but crazy. I was touring and, you know what I mean? I was so consistent that I still was able to shine. But every time I got a good Mad record, mixtapes. Oh yeah. yeah, I had like twenty something mixtapes. Yeah. But every time I got a good record, you know what I mean? They wouldn't, they wouldn't fuck with it. You know what I'm saying? They wouldn't play it. And it's, pardon me, very interesting that you bring that up because I did an interview on a Breakfast Club the other day, uh-huh. and Envy actually shout out to Envy. I respect him for being honest. He actually admitted it. What did he yeah. say? He just pull the footage up. Just don't what, take my word. What did he say? Tell us what he said. He said, "Yo, when Pat um, first came out, you know what I'm saying? I didn't play his record because I had a problem with Slade." He wow. said no camera. You know what I mean? And I already knew that. Also, he wasn't the only one. 
he was the only one that felt like there was a lot of DJs like that. You know what I'm saying? Damn, that's fuck. That DJs be hating on each other. But <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you think that. it was was it an organized like yeah, black yeah, they, they all stick together. Like they all they all you, communicated this they to all each worked, other. They got DJ teams. Like no, I know that. I know that part. <laughs> yeah. I'm just saying. Yeah. Okay. okay. But, so if you fuck one over, no, I everybody know, I know. standing yeah, there doing all your yeah, shit. Yeah. Because when I met Slay. And I thought it was all good. You know what I mean? I'm thinking everything in the industry I see is real. So I'm like, okay, I'm, I fuck with Slay. He work at the radio. I'm good. Right. So when I started taking my music to niggas, and niggas was acting funny, I go back to Slay. I'm like, yo, Slay, what's up with these niggas? He and like, in all honesty, it's probably them. looking for outside look, 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 looking in. It's mm -hmm. probably like, you already got Slay. What you need me for? I, not really, though, because he, yeah, don't, he don't once a week at right. 12 o'clock at night. I need to be on date yeah, to have a career. You need a right. music career. You need, right. you need other DJs. Of, so I'm trying to build relationships, shows. and niggas is acting funny. So I'm like, yo, Slay, what's up? He's like, oh, fuck them niggas. I'm like, nah, we need them. So eventually now, me, I'm from the street. Wow. You know, unfortunately, I was young and ignorant, which I shouldn't have never did. We started putting hands on yeah, certain niggas. Hands and feet on and I fucked up. I, I made it worse. I made right. a bad situation worse. You right. know what I'm saying? Because so. to tell you the truth, right? Man, like I, I never, I never thought you was black ball. I never did. I thought oh, maybe, you know, I was probably making the wrong moves, but I didn't think you was black ball. But for people who says that, right? Like I watched an interview the other day of Ali Vegas, right? Mm -hmm. Ali Vegas. He didn't say it, but he was alluding to, like, these people didn't want him to be as big as Nas. And I was, I, I wanted to say, damn, you have to think like that. Because, because I'm, I'm just being honest with you. I've never been, as much times as I've always been around Nas, been around Jay, been around Puff, I've never heard them even allude to, to even hating on another brother. Like, mm -hmm. I swear to God. Like, I, I know it's, like, far-fetched to see, but, like, as I, like, and, and I be always wondering. Like, that's, I, asked, I asked Nas if he was blackballed, and he said he was blackballed. So, well, well, let me say this, man. Uh -huh. When I met Jay Z, he showed me a lot of love right. and respect, and I showed him that respect back. You know what I'm saying? Because he's a legend, he's an icon, right. he's everything. You know what I mean? What, right. what he say he is. I, right. Nobody could take away from what he did, especially being from Brooklyn. You know what I mean? Right. You gotta salute him. Right. Same with Nas. Like Nas right. tried to sign me at one right. point. You know right. what I mean? Nas, I can reached, see that. Nas reached out to me. We met up in Lower Manhattan. Me, him, and my, and my homie O. We sat down. We ate pizza. And he was, he, he was like, yo, yeah, just the three of us. Or I, I think he had one person with him. Little Manhattan and pizza. Big-ass yeah, pizza. Big-ass slice right, of pizza right. this big. <laughs> and um, he was like, yo, I'm going over there with Jay soon. You know what I'm saying? At Def Jam, I want to bring you over there. Right. You know what I'm saying? I see big billboards for you. Uh, all the love. Uh -huh. And he, he, I said, send, a, send an agreement. You know what I mean? Right. It was nice. You know what I mean? I grew up listening to him. Right. And um, he sent the contract over. You know what I mean? And, and Slay, 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 Slay was like, man, nah, man, this nigga, man, like, this ain't a good one, Pat. This ain't a good one? And Slay is my big brother, you know what right. I'm saying? So, yeah, big up to Slay, by the way. Yeah, yeah. big up to Slay, man. I'm going to get well soon. Hope you're doing better here, Salute. Definitely, man. Yeah, man, drink doing better. Sure. Definitely, man, yeah. So, um, you know. Mm. Got to sip that to make it just, count. Just the credit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just, to, just to double down on what you said mm -hmm. about those two, man. Right. I never seen no hate from none of them. Right, yeah. I, I, I've never... Because, like, in order for it to be blackball, right, them to be a part of a blackball system, you got to have some type of hater in you. Mm -hmm. You understand what I'm saying? Like, there's been times I, I, I brung things to, to, to them, and they've been like, man, let these dudes live. Like, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? And I'm like, I'll right. I, I, I say it off camera because, you know, I'm getting a little deep. But I've always heard them, like, let it go. Like, I never mm -hmm. hear, seen one of them be like, yo, man, you know what? Mm -hmm. Let's do it. Like, I, heard, I see Kanye do that shit. Oh, word. <laughs> like, like word. I see, I see Ye, 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 is a, <laughs> Ye is a different nigga. Oh, nigga. word. Like, he's a different nigga. <laughs> if he want to shut you down, he going he gonna to say it, too. Mm -hmm. Like, he going he gonna to wear it on his sleeve. Oh, word. Right. Yeah, he's going to hide it. But so, you, know, you know what it is with, the, with, with that situation? I don't no. even like to speak about it because I'm in a good space, man. Yeah. I'm just, yeah, yeah, it, yeah. it didn't work. Right. I mean, now. No, but you know why I, I want to speak but it yeah. happened though. Like with me, that's why I don't like to speak about it because a lot of niggas claim it right. and it's not true. It's but not if you look at my them. situation, yep. right. the shit is real. Like right. the nigga Envy just said it on the on mm -hmm. the Breakfast Club the other day, basically. Right. You know like, what I mean? On on the camera. Like so I, ha I have Gilly, and Gilly always say that he thought that, that he did, that he did, I did see that. He, he, he I seen he that. Always, <laughs> and I always be like, my nigga, I don't even think that nigga thought about you, man. Like, <laughs> like, oh, I'm sorry. Oh, he like, said Jay. Shout out to my Gilly, man. Gilly, my nigga, I'm cool. But he always says that back in the he said he said he loves podcasting because no one can't block him in podcasting. Yeah. Mm. So and so what he's trying to say is, man, I got blocked in, in rap. So, you know, I always pull it out of him, on camera or off camera. I'll be like, what do you mean? And he always be like, you're mad. <laughs> you're you mad. You know what I mean? And I'm like, I'm going to be honest. The more I get, got to meet Jay, 
I don't think he was he, he would make a call to, to block any black man from getting money. I swear mm -hmm. to God. Like, I swear to God. Let me make some noise for Jay, man. Come on, goddamn. Yeah, why not, man? Oh, you slow on your clap. You were slow on your clap. I see you. I see you, man. Nah, man. But, it's Brooklyn, um, Brooklyn. I got to salute it. Yeah, yeah. So, um, definitely. Uh, so now, a thing that I, I didn't think I would see you on, and I, or then I want to get to the, uh, the EPs, 12 in a month, right? But yeah. the thing I didn't expect to see you on, and you influenced me to do. Oh, really? Love and Hip Hop. Mm. Like, you was the first person I saw on Love and Hip Hop keep their character and mm -hmm. have your character clean. Like, you was never on no fuckery shit. You ain't throw no drinks. You mm -hmm. ain't do you no know, no dumb shit. You was mm -hmm. always a part of it. But what made you even want to join that? I didn't want to do it, man, for those reasons. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Nah, I ain't want to do that shit, man. Wow. When, when my wife was locked up, they reached out and they wanted to document, you know what I mean, me going to visit her and supporting her mm -hmm. and all that. And me and her spoke, and we was like, nah, that's not something we want to be a part of. Because right. they be throwing drinks and yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Somebody do that shit to us, you know what I'm saying? Right. It ain't going to be good. But right. when we came, when she came home, we spoke about it again. It came with another offer. Right. And she was like, yo, it might be good. Because right. you got a bad reputation, and I got a bad reputation. Maybe we could show people that we are human. Like, right. we got a family, you know what I'm saying? Mm. That was her decision? Yeah, she did. Oh, she, oh, she kicked she, it to oh, me just like that. Oh, she's a gangster. She's a gangster. <laughs> because you know what? If you did, you know what's crazy? Mm -hmm. I, I... Forced Capone to do that season. He was, Capone was supposed to be oh. on that season. Oh, word. But they couldn't tell us that y'all was doing it. Had We knew that we would have uh, signed on immediately. Mm -hmm. But I begged Capone to do it. And Capone was told everybody, how you gonna tell me to do Love and Hip Hop and he ain't gonna do it? And I would have did it. What are you talking about? But, um, but when I saw it, it was the integrity. Like, you mm -hmm. guys stayed the same. And not only that, you guys made your image even better. Like, I wanted to be a better man. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. When I did it, though, I was expecting to get to get killed, man. I was like, they gonna kill me when they see this shit. Man, I'm on one knee. I'm right. proposing. You know what I'm saying? Oh, no, nah, that's gangster And just shit. showing the... Yeah, but you know how ignorant motherfuckers is. Yeah, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, we get older, though. <laughs> hip, -hop, hip Hop is getting older now. We nah, getting older. Fact, that's a fact. It was crazy though when I, when the, when the shit aired. You know what I mean? I was bracing myself for impact, uh -huh. and ain't nothing but love came, man. Yeah. I think people was tired of seeing our people. You know what I'm saying? Depicted right. like that on the, on the screen. I don't know what it was, right. but I ain't getting nothing but love from that shit. Mm -hmm. and, the, and, and you and you, you you still doing it? Uh, you live in Atlanta now? Yeah. Or? Nah, nah. I still live in New York. Oh, still in New York. Yeah, you, still out there. Are you doing um the Atlanta edition? Nah, nah. I'm not. Uh -huh. do, I'm not doing it. What happened was uh, when the COVID hit, they tried to get us to do the one in the bubble. Uh huh. But then you had to. You couldn't bring the baby, and my daughter was only like. Probably one years old at the time, and we wasn't gonna separate from my child right. like that. So we fell back, but we right. still doing it. We actually got a new one coming out um, real soon. I think like next week. A word? Yeah, that? it's um, African genealogy or something to that degree. We went out there and they, they took oh, our dumb. DNA and they telling us where we from in Africa. You know what I'm saying? So that's hard. That's one of the jokes. Nah, that's what shit you would do. I swear to God. Did you travel though with it? <laughs> no, no, no. We they took it like probably a year ago. Or so they took oh, okay. the DNA and then we shot it in um. Atlanta. Could be dope if you went to wherever they found your genealogy, track it back. Oh, I'm going. I'm going. I'm well, he like going. this type no, of yeah. shit. I'm going, man. I'm, I can't wait. To, I've never been to Africa. You know what I'm saying? So I can't wait yeah. to go. I went I went to South Africa recently. And we, oh, we shot a film out there. Yeah, it's dope. Nah, I can't wait to go. They man. always used to scare me about Africa. Like, you oh, gotta word. get two shots and. Yeah, yeah, you gotta take a bunch of shots. They, 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 it they, depends they, where you go. You South take Africa, shots here, though. Take a shot. Yeah. They had the vaccines <laughs> back then. <laughs> 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 to go to Africa. You niggas ain't you vaxxed up. You're like, what? Word, it is. Like, I, 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 I don't know if this was a white man thing or something, but they would always be like, you can't drink their water. And like, well, yeah, some, yeah, yeah, you can't drink water like in Mexico. It's just, that's natural, though. Yeah, but niggas be drinking the mojitos with the ice, and that ice is. The fuck water, you up. and then fuck you up, right? That's why you go straight. Mm -hmm. and yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's why you go straight drink, straight drink. Holy moly, guacamole. So, Pat, we do love and hip hop, and do is, is the music still there? The love, the love for music is still there because because, like I said, you guys not only had a strong image, it, it, it actually made you a star. It actually did what hip hop what hip hop was meant to do for you. Mm -hmm. You got through a whole nother alley alleyway. Yeah, man. Yeah. Okay. That's, that, that's what it? happens, man. When they hate on you, that's what happens, man. Right. You know what I mean? God finds another way for you to shine. Mm -hmm. Um at that time, I made more money off of television than I ever made in hip hop. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Mona Scott, man. We God, love you. Put the camera at Mona, I love you, man. Yeah, you can tell them checks is good. You see how his face, <laughs> you see how his face turned, yo? Nah. And it was serious, too. He wanted niggas to know, like, man, yeah, man. I, oh, yeah, I, I, man. I, I, I'm over there, baby. Nah, it's, I, I made a lot of money, man. Right. I, I, gotta, I always say it, man, every chance I get, man. Mm -hmm. I'm saying, I made a lot of money on television. So, um, 
that's what happens, man. You know what I mean? That uh-huh. that wasn't my plan. It just happened like that. And doing right. it your way, which is yeah, yeah. You know, we we wasn't gonna go up there and make a chance. fool out, right. out of ourselves. You know what I'm saying? And fall into the and fall into the dumbness. Right. We, we actually let them know. Yeah. You know what I mean? So they they kept it clean, man. They ain't play no tricks or nothing. That's dope. So, like we bad Ray J. I spoke to Ray J the other day. Mm-hmm. He said, "Yeah, man, I think it's over for me and my wife." And I'm going, "Really?" He goes, "Yeah, so we, I'm not arguing with her to the cameras to cut on." I said, "What?" The what? nigga said, "He said <laughs> <laughs> he said the, the real so arguments." The nigga said, "Reality show." The nigga said, "He's saving his arguments." Oh, wow. For the camera, I can't do that. I was like, "Ray J, you too, you too much invested into this shit, my nigga." <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. See, that's what I wasn't gonna do. I wasn't gonna go up there and, and you know make a fool out of myself. Man. Right. You know but I mean? it looked like you and Remy never argue. It looked like y'all had never have problems. I mean, we human, man. Everybody okay. go through their <laughs> shit. You okay. know what I mean? Okay, okay, okay. Cool. cool. Everybody go through their through their shit, but they, it's not about the argument, man. It's mm-hmm. about admitting when you're wrong, because mm-hmm. you're not always right. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? You or your mm-hmm. or your mm-hmm. partner. So, you know, when she was locked up, I couldn't touch her. Right. So all, all we had was communication. Like when I visit her, they would say, "Put your hands on the table." Right. Shit like that. So we we spoke a lot, and throughout that communication, we learned, even if it's a disagreement, right. if she's speaking, I got to be quiet. And then when I'm speaking, she got to be quiet. Mm-hmm. And when you do that, you really see what you was wrong at. Because you be like, oh, I made you feel like that. And that don't be your intentions. You know what I'm man, saying? You like my therapist so. right now. <laughs> <laughs> this is real, man. Jesus. <laughs> nah, it's real, it's real <laughs> shit, man. Word, you know word. what I mean? It's communication, man. We, we disagree, but it don't really escalate to the point of right. negativity. And, and y'all both like alphas. Y'all both like go-getters. <laughs> y'all both leaders. So right. that's the compromise is sitting back and just yeah, listening. Yeah, you got you to gotta listen, man. When she talking, you, you got to be quiet and you take your turn now. Right. You know what I mean, that shit work out like that all do, the time. Do y'all fuck with counseling and shit like that or not? Nah? nah, we never no, did it. No, we, we, we considered it, though. Okay. One time, and we considered it, but it never happened yet. Wow. Have you Have you ever done it? I'm thinking about it right now. thinking about it? Word, I'm thinking about it right now. Yeah, we, 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 you kind of did it on that boot camp thing, no? Nah, well, boot camp was I'm um, no marriage boot camp. Yeah, you did no, counseling. That, yeah, that was counseling. Yeah, yeah. I, I enjoyed it. But what made you what what um what made you want to do it? What marriage boot camp? No, no, not that. The uh, counseling. Like wanting to do it now. Oh, uh, because uh, I be realizing I'm I'm just I'm I'm still human too. Like I still got okay. you know shit and I, I and I don't. It's not nothing to talk talk about. And I, I need to. I should talk about it. You know what okay. I'm saying? So okay. um yeah. So I've been I've been thinking and I and I like how. Charlemagne, you know what I mean? Like mm-hmm. he speaks about uh, counseling and therapy, for, yeah. and like yeah, like I, to me. So I just want to be a better person, man. No, nah, that's, that's dope. That's dope, man. That's dope. So like I said, like like what what, what made you like? Because I, I I I was personally seeing you, you know, when Remy was was uh, away, mm-hmm. and I was seeing you in the club, being respectful, mm-hmm. no woman around, mm-hmm. holding it down like a man, and the, Instagram wasn't popular back then, mm-hmm. so you could have been. Popping bottles, throwing shit. Mm-hmm. What made you? What made you stay like so solid like that? Well, when you get married, man, you take vows, right? You know what I'm saying? And you gotta listen to those wedding vows mm-hmm. when you when you when you do that because you signing up for that and you right. you, you taking those vows before God. Right. So I take that serious. I'm not gonna stand here and say you know to love, to honor, protect, right. sick and for right. sick and for uh, health, richer for poor, to death do us part, and then go do the opposite. Right. You know what I'm saying? So I take that very serious and I I, I try to live up to it. What? So you, so, so the whole time, I, you, you don't have to answer this. The whole time, you don't. <laughs> yeah, you're a funny nigga. So you don't got to answer this. <laughs> we can edit this out, just in case. Just in case. But the yeah, whole time, you didn't have sex at all. You didn't. I had sex with my wife. Oh. We had conjugal oh, business. Oh, damn. That was good. I thought it was rough. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. It was rough from the beginning. Oh, okay. You know okay. Oh, and when y'all got married, because y'all got married in, in, up there. Yeah, no, we got married um, when she blew trial. We was getting married because we didn't think she was going to blow. I didn't think she was going to. It was a bullshit case. You know yeah, what I'm saying? I didn't think so neither. And, you know, when we, she blew trap, we lost our money. We had the wedding set up on the boat and all that. We lost that, you know what I'm Damn. saying? So we wound up getting married while lost she was locked the up. Yeah, we yeah. lost the whole shit, you know what I mean? <laughs> and um, we wound up getting married while she was while she was locked up. But wow. even though, like, in the beginning, you know what I mean? Even on Rack of Silent, we, we didn't have conjugal visits. We still was making okay. it happen. We still right. was finding our all way, right. you know what I mean? Right. <laughs> so so y'all, you got married in jail. That might be the gangster shit. I, any nigga no, we got said married. We got married o- over the phone at first. Wow. Because they, they canceled the wedding. Remember when she blew, they remanded her. They ain't let her go home, clean That's her right. crib out, and then remand right. right here, right there, boom. So we couldn't do nothing. So we 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 uh signed the paperwork in the courtroom, and then that night we did a three way with the pastor, and he married us over the phone. Man. Word. That's why when she came home, we had the big wedding. Right. Mm-hmm. 
Snuck the papers in there and signed that them shit. That is gangster. Let's make some noise for that. Right. Now, Pat Poose, I don't know if you know, but our show is about giving people they love while they're alive. Giving mm-hmm. they flowers. We didn't invent that uh, slogan, but we made it famous. You know what I'm saying? And mm-hmm. we got everybody biting our shit now. That's we're going to continue to do our shit. Right, right. And we want to personally give you your flowers. You know what I'm saying? Oh, that's you know what's what up, saying? man. That's what's up, man. You know what I appreciate saying? that. Let me see the front, yeah. No, you know what I'm saying? Right. I appreciate Come on, make that, the fucking noise. Yeah. 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 I appreciate that. Thank you, man. Nah, Thank, you, bro. For real, man. Thank you, bro. Love. Thank you, bro. Thank you, man. Love. Okay. That's a big deal, man. That's a big deal. I appreciate that. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now. This is where the show gets a little crazy. Oh shit! You gonna take a shot glass? You gonna, you got your, you got your Brooklyn drink over there. You got your Brooklyn. <laughs> you gotta represent well, Safari in the building. Goddamn! Make some noise for Safari. Goddamn! Oh my god! <laughs> so oh this my is god. where this is where the, the game. What's up? What's your respect? Respect. So this is where the game get tricky. It's called Quick Time or Slime. I'm gonna give you two choices. Oh yeah, I heard about this. Okay, yeah. I'm gonna give, <laughs> I'm gonna give you two choices. All right. You can you can say one or the other, and you're good. Or if you say both. Or if you, you pass and you say you don't want, then you have to take a drink. Okay. But I right, pretty much I, I think you're gonna you're gonna slide through this. And we drink with you. Okay. And we drink it with you. So you ain't you ain't by yourself. Don't okay, worry about okay, it. Okay, that's cool. Okay. Big L or big pun? <laughs> you gotta drink immediately. <laughs> that's a good one to drink too. That's a good one to drink too. That's good. Hold on, look at that. Hold on, wait, hold on. Get that My Japanese bad. whiskey out. That's a tough one. I ain't I, I ain't doing that. CEO Bleak, hold on. Word. That's a tough yo, one. Yo, Bleak. I'm here interviewing Pat Poos. That's my name. And Safari just walked in, and that with, that's, with you, that's three Brooklyn niggas. Y'all Brooklyn niggas is proud of me. <laughs> what's, go, what's going on? <laughs> Bleak, my nigga. All right, cool. Yeah, he said, okay. what's up? Bleak, what up, bro? Pat, 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 that's Pat right there. I'm, I'm going to hit you as soon as I finish this. As soon as I finish this. All right, cool, cool. The niggas mad ghetto answering the fucking phone during the interviews. <laughs> you know what I mean? Hold on, I gotta take the drink because he drank, right? And yeah, I, I did, did mine. Shot it to the top. Oh, Salud. I already did mine. Are you heard that? Uh huh. Uh-huh. Mm. All right. My bad, man. That's no, no, hard. It's all good. That's, it's all that's good. hard, boy. G Rap or KRS One? Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> all right, hold on. Wait, wait, Buster. I'll wait for y'all. Salud. Cheers, cheers, cheers. All right, cheers, all right, cheers. All right, cheers. Salud. Cheers. Yeah, I ain't going for it. All hip hop niggas can't answer that. That's true. Hell no. Hell. It gets worse. <laughs> <laughs> Rock Kim or Big Daddy Kane? I'm sorry, man. <laughs> <laughs> you gonna kill us over here. Yeah, you killing me right now. Yeah. Shit, I'm you did this by yourself? You made this list by yourself? Yeah, yeah. they tried oh, to kill us. You tapping niggas off, B. Cheers, 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 cheers. Cheers, Alu. Ooh, this my fuck, <sighs> dog. Hey. This one, I don't know. Next one, I might have to answer. Yeah. <laughs> DMX or Tupac? Damn. That's hard. I'm going with X. I love Pac, though. And you was on Tupac album. We're going to get to that later. I love them both, but I got to go with X, though. Okay. Scarface or Ice Cube? Scarface or Ice Cube? I'm going face. Hmm. (laughs) Fat Joe or Rick Ross? (laughs) 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 Okay. Salute. 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 I love quick time is long. <laughs> uh, push your T or five? I got to go with Brooklyn. Okay. The locks or mob D? <laughs> Damn. Nigga, don't give me a hit today. <laughs> that's what it do. Yeah, that's what this game is meant to be. Salute, salute, salute. Yeah, 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 I got it. Oh, I didn't look at the rest. Oh, Outcast or UGK? I'm going UGK. Mm, I'm throw you with Outcast. LA or Miami? You in Miami? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going Cali. Okay, no problem. Duce or Hennessy? Hennessy. Okay. Sorry, man. K Slay or Funk Flex? K Slay. That's my brother. Illmatic. Or ready to die. I gotta go ready to die, Brooklyn. I, you can't go against Brooklyn. You can't do it. I disagree, but I respect. I love Illmatic, but yeah. come on, man. You kidding me? <laughs> the Chronicle, all eyes on me. All eyes on me, man. Okay. Mm. Podcast or radio? 
Man, I'm saying Paul Cashman. God damn, make some noise. <laughs> okay. okay. Rough Riders or Rockefeller? <laughs> <laughs> that was simple. Yeah, what made you what made you ask me about the Rockefeller thing though? Because I'm doing my due diligence. That's, that's crazy. <laughs> that's, crazy. <laughs> so, that's crazy that you heard that too though. <laughs> He unit or Murder, Inc.? Come on, man. Okay. Those are all my guys. All right, cool. <laughs> cool, cool. I'm in the middle. Okay. No, I know. No little Kim and Foxy questions. No more. Uh-huh. Let's take it out. Oh, yeah, take it out. Yeah, yeah. It's not Yeah, yeah. They both killed me for the same reason. <laughs> <laughs> we took that one out. We took that out. Dre or Puff Daddy? Dre or Puffy? Yeah. Dr. Dre. Dr. Dre. Um, I gotta keep it New York. Yeah, I respect that. And we on Revolt too right now, in case y'all don't got this channel. <laughs> Make sure y'all download it. Swiss Beats or Timberland? Both of them did production on my project. Okay, all right, yeah, yeah. Great choice, great choice. Hey, and they hooked me up. Those are my guys. Cheers. Yay or Pharrell? I'll go with Kanye. I'm going for Raul. I'm going with Kanye. Yeah, he's my man. <laughs> <laughs> Just to be clear. Be clear. Right. Primo or Pete Rock? Ooh. Oh, hell no. Those are my guys. <laughs> you got to finish your shot, too. I'm I know, watching I know. you, I'm man. I know, I know. There you go. Well, you going to make Brooklyn proud, baby. I, I guess so, man, because I ain't, I ain't what's going on. Beat Street or Crush Groove? Um, That's hard. And eat your eggs before I break your legs. <laughs> um, I think I'm gonna go crush groove, man. Crush Sheila E and all that. Come on, all right. hey, fly. This is this how we ended with all the quick time slide. And I'm always interested to see how people answer this. Because to me, sometimes this question is a complicated question, and sometimes it's just it a seems question. like there's no wrong answer. And it's no wrong answer to this. Okay, okay. Loyalty or respect? Loyalty. And I need to ask why. Because, man, loyalty will enable you to show respect mm. to your loved ones even when they're not around. Mm. Even if they deceased, or even if they, you know what I mean? Even if they're absent of, of the situation, you still, right. you're loyal. You still show that respect. So with loyalty, you really get both. Right. Mm. I agree. See? It's either, it's either a real there's simple no, answer no wrong or answer. a very complicated answer. Yeah, so, boom, now, now, now we, we getting down. I tell you, I knew Fat Joe maybe almost 20 years. I knew him ups, downs, you know, tax problems, no tax problems, rich, 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 whatever, whatever, whatever. The time I seen Fat Joe the most miserable. Like, is when he was beefing with Remy. Mm -hmm. Cause I, I know she's her own boss, but where did that put you at that state of mind when they when they was beefing? Cause I just I just remember him. You know, he he went through the Cuban shit. He went through the other shit. But I, it was the time that Remy was was going at Joe. Because it was the same time Fifty was going at Joe. So where was you at in your mind state when, when, when this happened? Um, at that time, I really didn't, I really didn't know Joe. You know what I'm right, saying? Right. So I really had no involvement in that. Right. To be honest with you, you mm -hmm. know what I mean? It was something that was going on. I mean, I, I can't sit here and say I didn't know it was going on. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I, I, I bear witness to it, but I had no involvement and I had no opinion. Cause I just was like, damn, this is fucked up. You know what I mean? Right. Joe, Joe's a legend. Right. I mean, I grew up listening to Joe right. anyway, so. Right. To answer your question, I had I had no involvement. I had never had met him at the time. Right. right. So is there's no discussions of like you know, um, cause I think she did a diss, diss record, right? I don't. Um, I, did she do a diss record? Nah. She might have said a couple oh, things here and there, yeah, but yeah. I don't think it was just like a pin right. straight going at your right. juggler. Nah. Right. But she probably said a couple lines here and there, right. some shit like that. So. It happened because you and you and Joe's brothers now. So, that I, but you know, it's a past. It's a past. Right. That's which which loves 
the past is what makes the future so beautiful. You know what I'm right. saying? You can't appreciate the sun unless the rain. Well, I like the rain when I like the sun. It's real <laughs> shit. I'm, 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 I'm a Pisces, so yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. we like, we like yeah. water. So, boom. They have this fallout. It's public. Did you have anything to do with fixing it? Absolutely. Okay. I had a lot to do with fixing it, you know. Um, because, I, I, cause let's just be clear, after Remy came home, we all wanted Remy on a record, right? I remember that, that was the, that was the, the thing. Right, right, but right. But everyone knew we had to deal with Pat Poops. Mm -hmm. No one had a line on Remy. No, there was, mm -hmm. it was no management. Mm -hmm. There was no, we, no one knew nothing. The whole industry, so this was on you. You were, you were, you were almost, for lack of a better term, for my man who just walked in, you were almost like Safari. <laughs> like with Nikki, like you understand? Well, well, with me, it happened by default. You okay. know what I'm saying? Like I'm saying, like, at one point in the industry, and to get to Nikki, you had to go to SB. Mm -hmm. And at one point, when, when Remy came home, the, it was the same thing with you. The mm -hmm. only pe per people who knew how to get at Remy had to go through you. Mm -hmm. So I would say that to say, was that how... Because Joe must have had to reach out to you. Nah, that, that's not what happened. Ba okay. Basically, put, put basically the, the responsibility and, um, you know, of somewhat managing her, her career. Or, he was managing I wouldn't her. Say, I wouldn't say career. Like pseudo-manager. I would say this. Basically, when she caught the case in Blue Trial, mm -hmm. you know when you go in the kitchen and you, and you turn the lights in the hood and all the roaches scatter? Mm -hmm. That's what happened. Everybody scattered. Right. Mm -hmm. The whole team. Everybody went in a different direction. When she went in. When she, yeah, when she caught the case, because right. when you catch a case, you're in a bad light. Right, right, right. right. So nobody want to be around you. Nobody want to fuck with you, really. You know what I'm saying? So everybody scattered. But at, when everybody, in the process of everybody scattering and turning their back on her, it was a lot of different things that needed to be handled. And she was behind the G-Wall, so she couldn't do nothing. Right. So I was just was doing what I could do to help her out. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because she was a good person, you know what I mean? Uh -huh. And I, I told her, I said, yo, if you blow trial, we still going to get married. You know what I'm saying? She, was, she got mad at me when I said that. Wow. I'm like, what you getting mad at me? She said, nah, because, you know, why would you say that? I said, nah, I'm just letting you know I'm going to be there for you. Um, so she blew trail. Everybody scattered. Everybody went in a different direction. So I'm like, damn, I still got to help her out. So I just, it, by default, I kind of became her manager in the beginning of the bid. So when she started coming home, people were just reaching out to me to get shit done. So that's why I kind of ended up in that position. And um, with Joe, nah, she actually came to me. You know what I'm saying? She came to me, and this was something she never did because Rim is not really apologetic. I don't or, think she is. She ain't that tight. You know what I'm saying? Hey, you know, I knew Rim was just a little girl. <laughs> yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm yeah. I'll tell you later. <laughs> she came to me yeah. on, on one of the visits and shit. She was like, "Yo, babe, what you think?" You know what I'm saying? I was thinking, I'm thinking about passing it up with Joe. You know what I'm saying? And me, I don't got an ounce of hate in my blood. Right. I said, "Hell yeah, you need to do that." Right. You know what I mean? And I promoted it and I pushed her to do it, and she did it. Right. Let's make some noise for Rim. <laughs> Because at one point, the, the, like, Joe was so mad at her, yet she, and it, the beef even trickled down to you and Joe having a fight, right? Y'all mm -hmm. had a fight. Yeah, but Joe, Joe was my daughter's godfather, man. Yeah, but this crazy now. I, I love him so much, yeah, I'll be honest with you. And, um... One of my favorite people in the world today, man. So yes. I don't talk about that, man. Just yeah, yeah, yeah. shout we out to my brother. On. Yeah, we moving right. on, man. We moving on, right? <laughs> we moving on, right? No, yeah. I'm gonna be honest. I love the reason why I'm, I'm even speaking about that or even talking about it is because. People, a young kid, as a young kid right now watching this interview, mm. that can that can say, you know what, I had smoke with, because you had honorable smoke. You ain't had mm -hmm. no, you ain't had mm -hmm. no dumb smoke. You had mm -hmm. honorable smoke. You mm -hmm. used to stand by your wife, so you, mm -hmm. by default, right, it's still a, it's still right mm -hmm. in this situation. So I'm just saying this for anybody who can watch it. It ain't about what happened. It's about the end result, and the end result is you know, right. is. When I see y'all together with the, with, the, with, with, the, with, the, with the with the door, I'm sitting back nah, and I'm man. like, yo, this is your nah, yo, yo, bro. Word of word is born. Anybody who who know me, they'll tell you, Pap never been a dick rider. Right. Joe is my guy. Like right. that's my brother. Like right. that. Like like right. I fuck with him on another level, bro. Right. Like the love that he he showed me and my family, and we show mm. it back. Mm. It's nothing fake about it, man. He, he he's very much authentic. You know what I'm saying? Even throughout me putting out all these projects this year. Yes. You know what yes. I'm saying? When I when we'll I get into that. When, Don't take over my interview. Okay, side. got you, got you. <laughs> <laughs> but I just wanted to say yeah, that yeah, yeah. the reason why I brought that up was to say that yo, like when shit got a little rough, I, I could hit Joe. Mm -hmm. And he'd be the Phil Jackson. Yo, do this mm -hmm. pap, do that. You know what I'm saying? No hate and shit. That's nothing. Right. Right. I mean, Joe is one of the only people I know that love to see others win. Right. 
That yeah. shit is rare, man. Yes. Make some noise for Fat Joe. So, are you writing a rap right now? <laughs> because how the Yo, fuck you put out 12 projects? That's very interesting <laughs> that you said that because word is born. That's how I create, bro. Like, you'll say some shit, some fly shit. And He's I put, already. Yeah, I flip it and I hold it for later. You know what I'm saying? So, huh. so you don't need to do the voice memo. <laughs> no. Um, to be honest with you, now that I'm a little older, yeah. When I was yeah. younger, no. <laughs> oh, you could just have it in your brain. Yeah, I, like I used the to big keep the whole rhyme in my brain. Like when Big said it, everybody starts saying, "Oh, right. right." But for me, that shit was my reality. Like I didn't need to write because I loved it so much. Wait, right. wait, stop. It wasn't my choice. Papu, stop. The lyrical bar shit that you doing, you ain't <laughs> writing it down. Nah. Stop. I didn't need to, bro. Let me see your Don't phone. be jealous. I, nah, man. <laughs> I, know he, I know he got voice memos. I'm gonna tell you why. I'm gonna tell you why Yo, I don't write. Stop. You kept the shit. Let that me you explain. Say. You write that shit down. But man. let me explain. I idolize niggas who could write. Right. I look up to y'all because if I sit here with a pen and a paper, I might rap about the fucking pen and the paper. You know what I'm saying? So That's I, hard. I create the paper, the mic, yeah, the I might rap about that yeah. shit. You might yeah, hear right. me rapping about the paper. I create throughout the course of my day, throughout my experiences. I take that shit in and I, I regurgitate it through the rap. But you know holding that memory is, I think, what he's really is. But when you right. love it so much, you're going to remember it. Right. I love this shit. So I'm, you know what I mean? You need to smoke some weed. Man. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta relax, man. You taking shit. <laughs> Yo, you got by the way, the Mike Tyson. Hey, Tyson Yo, you you got Tyson to point out. Tyson to point So you just you keep these memories just like like if a bar strike you right now. Because mm -hmm. I listen, I, I I I who the fuck was there? I had dinner with Ye, and every time someone says something, you just going like this. Remember, he was like. I'm looking wow. like this nigga just barring me out. Yeah. Like every, time, like every time I say no, something. People say the dopest shit, but they don't know it. Right. You know what I'm saying? So me as an artist, I'm like, oh, this nigga just says such and such. I'm using that later. <laughs> you don't even know what he just said. He just gave me a bar. So you, you just ghost wrote some shit for him. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Fire. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. Yo. So 12 fucking EPs. Yes, man. Man, I watched you because I wanted to do my due diligence on um, Ebro, and you said you did it through TuneCore. Uh, yeah. This is with new artists. Can you explain to new artists what TuneCore is? Because I got a TuneCore account. It's not working out for me. <laughs> <laughs> you haven't probably used it. Yeah. <laughs> it's not working out for me, yeah, you're a funny <laughs> nigga. I swear to God. But I see you talk about TuneCore. Yes. Cam is on here talking about TuneCore. Mm -hmm. Can you explain to new artists coming up right now mm -hmm. that's trying to get out? They're in Memphis. They're in Oklahoma. They're in Ohio. They don't know how to get to New York. They can't afford to get to New York. Mm -hmm. Can you tell them what TuneCore? And one thing, did you do a deal directly with the company TuneCore, or is it like anybody else is doing a TuneCore deal? i put thing? that in my answer, too. Okay, artists, if you're drowning in the, uh, in the Hudson River, Mississippi, any river or ocean, whatever, TuneCore is your life raft. Right. You know what I'm saying? That's the best way I could describe it. Um... Remember, I had a $1.5 million deal. He said it earlier. Come on, let's make some noise for that guy. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? $1.5 million yeah, deal. My job. Yes, my first deal was $1.5 million. Label. Yes. Um, worst mistake ever in my life, taking that deal. But um, let me say this. Let me say this. Mm, when I lost me? my deal, when I lost my deal and the world turned their back on me, TuneCore was there. And TuneCore basically... All of these different distributors that you might sign with, they're going to take a percentage right. of the money you make. TuneCore doesn't do that. They only charge you to upload the music. So once you upload the music, the profit is all yours, my friend. And you own all the digital streaming platforms. So when I said I was going to do an album every month, I was actually dealing with a distributor, and he turned his back on me. He Who said, you talking Yo, about? Empire? I ain't going to put him on blast. Not Empire. I, I did with Empire in the past before, too. Okay. But TuneCore is better than all that this shit. This is Dream Chance. This is where people let I know, out. I know, man. You know I know, man. I, I mean, just this, this is your therapy, too. He, he you owe me what? money. He owe me Who money. So, so I ain't going to shit on him yet. When I get my money, I, if I come back, I shit on him. <laughs> 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 all right. I like that. Like Nigga, hi. You know what I'm saying? He, he, he's elusive. <laughs> let me so. put up your ace. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Keep drinking. Nah, this guy is very elusive. So I'm going to wait till I catch him and get my money. And then I shit on Sorry, Pepper, I don't even know what elusive means. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? He's, He's hiding, hiding, man. He, he gets away. He's he, he run. I'm trying yeah. to catch him. I can't, okay. I can't get my hands on You know, you grab <laughs> a nigga by their shirt and they slip out their shirt? Like, he's one he of them definitely niggas. definitely talking about Alan Grumman. <laughs> That's what he's talking about, huh? Even what is that? He, <laughs> I ain't going to say his name, man. Okay. Right. You know right, what I'm cool. saying? But, yeah, um, so, yeah, the, everybody turned their back on me. And um, 
when I said I was going to do the album each month, mm. this guy was like, yo, you're overlapping yourself. It's not going to work. You can't mm. put out another album next month. Mm. And, and like right now, I got good problems. Like I got a, a record with Fabulous, you know, and Jermaine Dupree. Mm. But at the same time, I got a record with Rick Ross. And then, then at the same time, I got a record with Lil Wayne, Two Chains, Busta Rhymes, mm. my wife, produced by Timberland. Yeah, so I got three talk. records. Talk that you know talk, man. <laughs> I got, talk that talk. I got three records Come at on, one talk time. Talk that talk, right. man. And DJs is like, yo, all these shits is hot. I don't know which one to play. Right. You know what I'm saying? So, but this is what he was kind of saying. He was saying, you're going to, and I'm like, yo, I can't follow the industry way of releasing That's music. That's the old school way. Because yeah, the yeah. shit don't work for me. Mm. Like, this is what I want new artists to understand. When you look at these artists that's uh, back. He, 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 he's he mainstream. You back. <laughs> that's, this is the back we've been waiting for. This is the back we've been waiting for. He's yeah. in his back right Attention, now. Attention, okay. all yeah. new artists. This is what I want y'all to understand. When you look at these mainstream artists out here and they're, you know, they're releasing their music, they're promoting their music, they mm. doing the Super Bowl, they doing all this spectacular shit, all of these, you know, different ways of marketing their music, and you want to be like them or whatever you inspire to be or whatever, you cannot follow them because that doesn't work for you. Mm -hmm. The industry format and the industry way of releasing music, it didn't work for me at all. Mm -hmm. So I said to myself, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to create my own format and my own pattern and my own mm -hmm. way of releasing music. I'm going to drop an album every month. Mm -hmm. And everybody told me, don't do it. This shit ain't going to work. But guess what? It was the best shit I ever did in my life. God damn, make some noise for that. <laughs> But explain, wow. explain to the artist, because this is, this is weird what this is for. This is for the kid that is dope as fuck in his mama's house. Right. So explain why this is the dopest shit you ever this did. This is the best thing I ever did because I don't have to wait for no label, you know what I'm saying, to approve my music when I put it out. Mm -hmm. You know, putting it through TuneCore. Also, um... I, I, make, job. I get my money every. That's we working on that. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Like, that's what I'm wondering. Like, working on that. We hear yeah. that you got we're working on that. Let, let me tell you some artists. Every single Monday of 2021, I had a check waiting for me every month from TuneCore wow. because yeah. I put out so much music wow. and it reacted. The people embraced it. So wow. when you when you when you're trying to put out an album once a year, the big shots, the big dogs could do that. Right. You're not a big dog. Right. You got to work way harder than them, and you got to to a certain extent you got to outwork them. That's hell. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Buster called me and said, "Yo, Pat, you outworked everybody this year." You know what I mean? Right. But you got to do that if you want to eat and you want to be successful. Because let's be honest. A year ago from now, they wasn't talking about my music like how they talking about it, or even considering it how they are now. But by the grace of God, I was so consistent that they have no choice but to acknowledge my, my work ethic, you know what I'm saying? Right. So, you know what I mean? Uh, doing that was the best thing I did, bro. I, I don't even know how to, to describe it, but TuneCore is a way that you can do it at your own discretion. You can say, all right, my album is finished. I want to put it on the digital platforms. You upload it to TuneCore. You pay the little $10 or whatever. That's a one-time fee? Yeah, that's it. Everybody that buy your music, all that money come to you. I mean, and I, I made a lot of money this uh, last and year. And I'd imagine putting out so many joints, it's like with streaming now, it compounds. Like that's that's where it's positive because streaming is like you got all this catalog now. Right. You build up catalog and you actually you get into streaming now. Because right. streaming, let's be honest, if you were selling records back in the days, they didn't have streaming. And right. now they're mm. streaming. You never sold no records, bro. It's a whole mm. different way of releasing music. Right. You never streamed before. Mm. So for me, when I started doing that, I actually started streaming now. See, mm. I was just never streaming until I did this shit. Mm -hmm. You pay attention. So it was a great thing. It was the best thing I ever... Everybody told me don't do it. Even my wife. Mm. Right. You're going to release an album every month. I just down the third. She tried to stop me. You know what I'm oh. saying? And she hated me last year when I did that shit because <laughs> I was so focused. It's the ones to it. Was <laughs> hey, it's it's true, but that's actually true. Fat Joe and him told me, don't do reggae, don't. No, oh, I didn't say don't do it. Oh, I just thought you was joking when you said you was doing it. <laughs> that's, even, that's even worse. I'd rather you said don't, don't do it. it. <laughs> that was even worse. <laughs> but it's so, all yeah, and, and you proved them wrong, right? I proved I didn't I didn't mean to because I love them. But yeah, I proved them wrong. Let's <laughs> make some noise for that. <laughs> Word. But uh, geez, that that was that was dope. That, that, that was really Thank dope. you, man. Shout out to all the artists who seen what I was doing, man, and, and decided mm -hmm. to be a part of it. Right. Like, I started feeling like I was creating my own platform. Right. Because big dogs wanted to be a part of the shit. Right. Mm -hmm. And when I reached out, it was no resistance. You know what I mean? Shout out to uh, Lil Wayne. Let's, let's stay right there for a all second. Right, go ahead, go ahead. Let's stay right there I got a for list, a man. Shout outs. <laughs> yeah. Um, Wayne not only did the record, yeah, he did the man. video. Come on. See what I'm saying? That was hard. You see what I'm saying? That's hard. Like, Explain that. 
You know what it is, man. You like this is Pat Papu's outside now. This is energy. This is energy. You you sit back, right? And every question you asked me earlier, you see what I said? I said, oh, New York. I'm going with New York. Yeah. I'm going with Brooklyn. Yeah. I represent. But when you come up and you look up to these guys and you come in the game and you you winning. And they, they don't embrace you, but you got a, a, a guy from out of town, a whole nother region, mm-hmm. embrace you and show mm-hmm. love. Mm-hmm. Not only do the record, do the video. Yeah, because that's, that's, that's a statement. In it's, itself. It's, a, yeah. it's a statement, and, it, and it, it says a lot as to why our city got pushed to the back burner in this, in right. this thing. All right. Because a lot of people don't like to see others win, but just Lil Wayne, man, solid dude, man. So how it happened? Like, just describe it. Um, well, I always knew. Ra- some of your I face, always huh? knew. <laughs> <laughs> on, I always knew Wayne. I always knew Wayne rock with me, sit. man. Because mm-hmm. when he was when he was on Rikers Salon, Mac Main hit Slay up, mm. and was like, "Yo, yo, Wayne, fuck with Pat, man. He fuck with Alphabetical Slaughter. It was a song I had when I broke down the album. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah. Come on, we about to go there. He was like, "Yo, Wayne, fuck with him heavy, man. Like you know, what I'm saying this, that, and the third. I was like, "Word. I'm gonna be honest with you. I tried to I tried to visit him. You know what I'm saying right. I couldn't do it though. Right. You know what I mean. But I always knew that he fucked with me. You couldn't do it because you couldn't get there, or because I couldn't. I went to the island. I'm gonna oh. keep it a buck. Oh, and it, 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 on that, it, it wasn't right. It was, I wasn't on the list. It's three right, people. Yeah. Island yeah. is strict. Right. I ain't get in. You right. know what I'm saying? Right. Well, I believe you. Yeah, you made me intense. I believe you one million percent. Yo, I'm from the sidewalk. A nigga tell you Wayne rock with you. You need to go check that. Yeah, that's real shit. That's real shit. So I went and tried to chop it up with him. That didn't work out. I didn't even tell. I never even got a chance to tell him that. Um. When I went there, Drake was going in to see him, actually. I seen Drake in the visiting going through. Or well, they pushed quick. you back for Drake. Uh, humble. Uh, uh, it, they ain't pushed me back, but. <laughs> <laughs> so, they, they, you said they prioritized? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> they ain't pushed me back, but, you know what I'm saying? I could, it, didn't, it didn't work out. Right. But, I, you know, I always knew he fucked with me just off of that. Uh-huh. So when I started doing the monthly projects, I said, yo, man, I just want to get artists on these projects that I respect. And Wayne is a nigga I respect. I reached out to him, and word is born. He hit me right back, bro. Wow. I sent him the joint. One night, I'm laying in the bed. My wife sleep. The baby sleep. I'm looking through my email. I'm like, what the fuck is this? I turn the shit on. It's little Wayne. I jump out the bed. I start dancing in the crib. I said, oh, shit. I'm hearing the Wayne verse. Wait, wait, wait. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, wow, this nigga did this shit that quick? I'm right. talking about it was quick, bro. Yeah. Yeah. I was happy, he's a, man. He's a workhorse. Nah, solid, a, solid dude, man. Everything he said he was going to do, he did it. Never faked a jack. Never uh, pump yeah. faked. All right, so I'm an artist. So I know once you get the verse, we all feel like DJ Khaled, right? I feel like Khaled. The, the, the verse <laughs> is The vocals are in. Yeah, the vocals are in, man. All right, so man, I'm an artist. I know. That's one part of the inquiry, right? You're uh-huh. getting the vocals, right? That's a fact. But then the next, next part is getting it clear mm-hmm. and then getting... The video clear. So what what was that process? Well, for I told you earlier, man. I built my own model of releasing music, so I'm right. releasing every thirty days. Okay. So once you so and you need signatures from these artists. Yeah, I mean, eventually you gotta you gotta do all of that. You gotta do the business. So okay. I got my guy Ian uh-huh. on the business side. Uh-huh. He yo, look, I just got the Wayne verse. We need to handle it. He's handling it. I'm communicating with Mac Main. Right. You know what I'm saying? We putting everything together to make sure everything is right. Same with Ross. Right. But I got to do it fast now because this right. shit got to come mm-hmm. out on the 31st right. every month. I really can't wait for nobody. You know what I'm saying? That's so crazy. I'm working at, this is the pace I'm working at. So as I'm getting so versus... So the 31st of every month? The 31st, the last day of every month, I'm dropping regardless so, of whom or what. What did you do in February? The last day of that month. <laughs> Come early. 28. You know Black History Month gave us the shortest yeah, month. Shortest, though, yeah. <laughs> so, so... I because this is this is very very important mm-hmm. for artists. Most artists think because they got money, and 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 they can pay for. Uh, a Wayne verse, right? Yeah, but money can't buy you love. No, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Money Not can't at so, all. But what they don't understand is. This these signatures. This this this. this oh process. yeah, you got it. You got to clear it. Yeah, you got to get clear. You got to get clearance. You got to have good graces, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm going to tell you, I'm, I'm gonna tell you right. why I lucked up with my Wayne record. I had a record with Wayne, mm-hmm. and Wayne did the same thing with me. Just sent it right back to me, boom. And went to the, did the video. Sean Peckos? Sean Peckos, bro. It's the only show that Instagram. What's up, man? Oh, sh- oh shit, what is that? We, I'm live on Drink Chance, by the way. Just, just in case. <laughs> we're with Pat Poos. Pat God, what up, bro? What's good, my guy, man? Shit, chopping it up. <laughs> good? 
Everybody great, man. Just work it, man. Trying to make it happen. No doubt. You know it, bro. Yo, what? Whatever niggas is under those stars, boy, y'all look good, boy. <laughs> what? What's up to CC Sabathia? CC, man, come on, man. You ain't come on my show yet? You lost weight and changed on niggas. Come on, man. Come on, man. Pull up on us, CC. It's just, I just watched your documentary again. Come on. Come on. Pull up on us, man. Come on, you know what I mean? Uh, you got to have some old dudes for him, though, but he'll be there. <laughs> All right, no problem. All right, my brother. Let me... Zero, uh, all right, cool. Yeah, no problem. Love, love, my brother. Yeah, I'm sorry, Pat. We, we asked our phone during the interview. We're very unprofessional. Nah, nah, we very unprofessional. We're the most professional. What were we talking about? I was very into that. It's fine. What, what, what was the topic? Yeah, we got to remember. Come, Come on. on. Come 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 on. I didn't know that, so I was throwing out independent music, and I wasn't getting no signatures. You just putting it out. <laughs> I was just putting it out. This nigga's a thug for real. <laughs> no, but with Wayne, they 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 straightened me up with Wayne when I dropped the Wayne one. Who who's they? Universal. Everyone. <laughs> <laughs> they straightened me right up, but it was lucky because Birdman had lived in my building at the time. Mm. But Bird, the Birdman also checked me. He said, "Hey, Playboy." <laughs> when you want a favor from me, you don't have them folks call me. I charge them folks. Mm. So I realized I couldn't have anybody call anybody from Wayne Camp other than me. That's the secret, though. Mm -hmm. That's the secret as an artist. Are when we blowing shit up right now? You got to have relationships. <laughs> yeah, because niggas like us, you can have a team and all that. It goes back to what I was saying earlier. What work for these niggas don't work for. Mm -hmm. Like me, when I reach out to artists myself and I, I get shit done, right. they're not passing to the team. You know what I'm saying? It's secure to now. To finalize right. it, right? But when you got people reaching out, he going right. to bang them. And they yeah. going to call you and say, yo, he said this much. You gonna yep. be I just saw this nigga. <laughs> like, I saw this nigga in the gym and he was like, he stepped to me. Like, hey, <laughs> you were. I was like, because niggas be saying Birdman is like, you know, uh -huh. nah, he ain't pussy at all. I don't know what niggas. Like, it was me and him one on one. And he was like, hey, Playboy. I, I don't know why I keep hearing Playboy. And he was like, hey, Playboy. I was like, damn, Birdman. And he's like, I got you, Playboy. I was like, all right, cool. But I was like, damn, I thought I was going to have to get this nigga 250000 right there. I'm like, Jesus. Yo, yo, niggas, he ain't pussy at all. Yeah, no, I, I, I'm telling you, niggas done read that book wrong. Right, right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, I love that go and, and he's a good nigga. So I haven't mm. seen him in a while, but big you up, bird man. You know what I'm saying? Mm. <laughs> so, but now I haven't de de dealt with that rain, the rain that you're talking about now. Now it's Mac Main. Mac yeah. Main is, was still uh, there, but now, because uh, uh, this, this is a lot of people should understand about you and Busta Rhyme situation and Wayne and Baby situation is. Once they kind of found out this, the discrepancies, both kind of made it right. Right? Mm -hmm. Like, after whatever Wayne was beefing with, with Baby and whatever, they made it right and, and they moved on. Uh, that's deep. And, and I remember, like, you and Buster kind of um, bumping heads. I don't, I don't know what it was because I was, it was just an industry, you know, talk. Yeah, no, nah, me and Buster never had a problem. Buster and Slay, they sparred a lot. Oh. They sparred a lot, but, oh. that, but still sharp and still, that's right. just what it was. It was just sparring right. with them. They love each other later on. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? They sparred oh, a lot. Oh, so you were just caught in between, because that, that's the um, uh -huh. Yeah, we never had, me and Buster never had an issue, man. Really? You know what I mean? Buster guy that brought me out on stage, man, and the, the crowd started screaming, and I was looking around like, who they screaming for? You know what I mean? But it was me. You know what I'm saying? Wow. <laughs> I, I was used to being a regular nigga right, at the right. time. You know what I mean? He, Buster changed my life, man. Right. That's my big brother. So right. we never had a problem, but you know what I mean? Him and my brother Slay, they just sparred a lot. That's how right. they are. You know right. what I mean? Two strong-headed niggas. You know? mm. And you was at the video shoot when that <clears throat> shit? Yeah, I was at Touch It. Um, the video that changed my life, man. Right. Video on the song that I'll never forget it. Well, break it down, sir. Uh, I'm just saying that the record, being on the record, <laughs> changed my life. <laughs> being on that record, man. I, That's I, a I'm huge telling you, record. Yeah. I couldn't go to the mall no more. Right. Yeah. I went from standing on the corner hustling and doing juxtas to being a famous person off of that record. I mean, wow. I, I had a name for myself. That's what got me on the record, but that record changed my life, man. I can't lie to you. And it's crazy because when me and my man O went to the studio when Buster called me, I fell asleep. I was, we was, I was so tired. He said, yo, you got to get, get on this song right here. I put the beat on, I fell asleep. In the studio? I fell asleep right there. Biggest record of my life, I fell asleep. <laughs> oh, shit. They woke me up, I, and my man O right here, he could tell you. I woke up, I went right in the booth. I wrote that, that verse in my sleep. 
Yo, man. You gotta stop, Pat. <laughs> <laughs> so he's jealous of that shit. <laughs> oh, am I lying, son? <laughs> Yo. He nah, was, he gotta... was there. He, he never lied. I wrote that verse that's in my sleep, That's spiritual shit. Yeah, that just sounds too perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just keep it real. Let's just even the story out. Bro, you ain't never woke up with a verse. No, I ain't never woke up with a verse, motherfucker. Yo, five burrows is down. I wrote that shit in my sleep, bro. Wow. Bro, really? I, I knocked out in the studio, woke up, went right in the booth. That's, that's what they... All right, this is why your story sounds a little crazy. I'm going to be honest. <laughs> why your story sounds... They used to say that's what Big used to do. See what I'm saying? They used to say Big used to go like this. Close his eyes. And then, like, 20 minutes later, he'd just go in the booth. So, did you know that? I didn't hear that one. I, I did hear that Big didn't write. Well, he's the first one. Before Jay, Ja, anyone. First one that we know of. First one who, who said that. Right, It became right. cool once Big said it. Yeah. yeah. And, and for me, I was like, oh, this is cool. This is what I really okay, do. But, but right. Pap, just describe to people, like, all right. Describe to what not writing means. It, listen. For, means not you got writing, a great memory. Right, this is what you got to understand. For me, I can't speak for Big. For me, right. I'm such a fiend right. when it comes to hip hop. I love right. this shit so much right. that if I, because you don't, you only write it down to remember it. You create it first in your head before you write. When you're writing, you're sitting with a pen and paper. Very you true. think of the shit and you write it down so you don't forget. Right. I don't need to put it down so I don't forget. I'm not going to forget. I'm not going. I used to. My wife smoked me out. You, you, you know what I'm saying? She, you I had to be tired. She right tired my lungs. You good? Nah, you want to come back home? Yeah, I'm good. <laughs> 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 you know, he wants you all the way outside. We knew, knew we had at least. Oh, right there. That, that's, that's what Alicia Keys and Kanye West smoked. Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, look, I look up to the guys who write, man, because I can't write. I can't what? write if I wanted to. I can't write. So wait, wait, but hold up! But when you spit it from memory, is that with flow the way you're gonna flow it? No, I can't let you get away with that. Everything, everything. You already I, I have can't the way you, you're gonna you take the start. beat. You didn't start. I'm hating. I'm hating a little bit. You, you ain't 100. percent Nigga said I can't get you. Let you get no, away no. with that. You didn't start not writing down. You had to start writing. That's when I realized if I fucking keep holding this pen in this paper, I'm going to rap about this pen in this paper. There's been a lot of rhymes so on this pen paper. I realized I need to rap throughout the course of my day so I can rap about different shit. Through my experiences. Right. He's just mad that you don't have a notepad throughout the course of your day. <laughs> write everything down. Yes, so I am. Mad. You are correct. Yes, I am. The shit. And nowadays, I kept, like I said, I kept, I, we was fucking with Kanye for like a week. And everything that was dope that, that Kanye just heard, he just kept voice noting it. See, he's smart though. He's taking notes, man. He, right. He's drawing in life experiences right. and putting in his music. He's smart. You do that with your with your brain. Yeah, you do I, I do that. I, I make right. sure I remember. Like shit that happened, it just be so. You know what I mean? It be, it be but that's moments. a talent. That's moments. that's unique. Not everybody can do that. Well, I'm I'm blessed, man. I, I get right. the credit. You know what I mean? <laughs> 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 anybody say, man, I'm blessed, man. <laughs> what you gonna say after that, man? What you gonna say after that, bro? He said, then oh. I put it on two core. Oh, he said, then I put it on two core. <laughs> oh. Shit. Nah, but you, you know what it, you know what it was too. Bring, putting out twelve albums in one year. You know how you got niggas that run down. Well, on well you? it says EPs. Is it actual no, it's albums? It's albums because an album is uh, I think seven or more. And I, I think, thought seven or more. Is yeah, a, is I think eight tracks. Okay, eight, eight tracks. You know what I mean? Okay. But yeah, let, me, let me say this though. Google is labeling <laughs> EPs though. When I Google it. Oh, they got to get their shit right. They gotta, you know what I mean? Let's get their shit right. But it's albums. But let okay. me let me say this though. You know how niggas run down on you? Yo, Nori, man, I'm saying, put me on, bro. Why you ain't, I'm trying to rap. I'm trying yeah. to do this. You know what putting out 12 albums in a year did for me? Mm. It got all them niggas out my face. Because... <laughs> not real no, no, shit, explain, bro. explain, explain, explain. Let me yeah. explain, right? <laughs> so, me, I've been in the game for a while. You I had fill a... up your ace of space. <laughs> <laughs> he he thinks this is fueling this. Yeah. But let me tell you, right? Uh -huh. I've been in the game for a while, right? I had a million dollar deal. 1.5, sir. Don't forget right, that right, five. Right. Yeah, all right, cool. I toured overseas. You know what I mean? I did records with Nori. Yes. You know what I mean? Records with Nas. Yes. Records with all these great people. Right. And I'm really working hard, hard enough to release over uh, 70 some odd songs in one year, 12 albums in one year. That's mm. crazy. And you, and, and what I turn to them, and when they come to me with the handout shit, how many, you're a rapper, how many songs you put out? How many albums you put out? So mm. I shouldn't be out working you. So if I'm not working you, that means you're not hungry. I don't even want to hear from you. They eliminated pretty much everybody. Yeah, because you want you want me. I'm going hard. Like I want this. So All if right. you're not working as hard as me or more, 
Don't come to me for that handout. I owe you something shit. That entitlement shit. I don't want to hear that. But well, we put out how many episodes you put out a year? <laughs> so you say we in the same league? Yeah, we, we in the same league. Yeah, yeah. League of Legends ain't dropping fifty-two Yo, episodes. Yo, we, we, Yo man, man. Yeah, let's yeah, double down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, I'm, I'm taking a shot for no reason. Pat. I'm just taking a shot. Y'all niggas is nah, working over here. Nah, nah, listen, Pat. That shit you did. <clears throat> Is amazing. Let's do, you, you might as well take another shot. Let's do it. Just, okay. I'm, I'm drunk already. Listen, listen. Let's, let's look, and look, I went too. I went too heavy on the shot. You ain't nah, got to do that. That's a heavy shot. Uh, yeah, you, 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 I went definitely. too heavy on the shot. But this Japanese whiskey. This is that fly shit. I don't let's know. do it, man. You know what I'm saying? Like salute. Cheers, cheers, I'm hit. Salute. Salute. Hit, 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 hit him. Do say. You do say. Let's, let's do it, man. Oh yeah, hit it. Hit it. Yeah. Yo. Mmm. It's cool. Mama Juana said it. Binga. That was not a good thing. What? Papoose. Veteran niggas can't do what you just did. Niggas that been out can't do what you did. That's why we all sat back and was like, wait a minute. This is something different. And we thought, I'm going to be honest, I, it's, it's, I'm part of a couple of group chats. Mm. People thought you was going to miss a month, sir. <laughs> They was hoping. <laughs> you know that? Niggas thought you was going to miss no, a month. No, he's like, you can't remember that many rhymes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They was waiting. They was waiting my luck. Yeah. <laughs> I was watching, too. Nah, I wasn't going to let it up, bro. You wasn't like, going. Even if you're under the weather, mm. some somebody passed away, you know what I mean? Something happened. You got to keep going. That so what's the process? Like... When you <clears throat> record in January's album, is it already recorded in December? Um... That's what I should have did. That's why I fucked up at in the beginning. Pat, stop, man. You didn't make January's I'm album in January. I'm going to tell you how I fucked yo, up. Yo, 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 he ain't going to tell you. He ain't going to tell you. The verses no. by the 31st, so he's in the I'm going to tell yo, Pat, you. Yo, stop, Pat. That's why I fucked up yo, at, though. I'm okay. going to tell you. All right. This That's is, why this I is, fucked this up This is getting too crazy now. Because for a couple years, right, I've been saying, yo, next year, I'm dropping an album every month. And then next thing I know, it's February, and I ain't dropped shit. So this month, I said, damn, all right, I'm dropping an album every month this year. But what I should have did was what he said. I should have did it in January and December. I didn't do that. That's why each project had to drop on the last day of each month. Because I didn't have shit. You ready, right. So I used the month. I used the 30 days <laughs> to create. So when I drop it on January 31st, I'm like, I'm at the finish line. I'm exhausted. I'm out of breath. I'm sweating. I'm wiping the sweat off with the towel. And I'm like, all right, I got some time. February, the last, was the shortest month of the year? The last day of February? OK, I got to do it again. Let's go. March, same shit. I'm creating this shit as I go along. Yeah. I did November in one day. I did wow. that shit in one day. Wow. I, yo, as the year progressed, I got better. I got so crazy with it because I, I, it's like Floyd Mayweather throwing right. punches. You know what I'm saying? And I was like, yo. You, what, what, uh, oh, wait a minute, man. Okay. You need to start banking albums like we do podcast episodes. I love episodes. how we just called the albums November. Oh, yeah. January. Yeah, each one was titled after the current month. On the last day of That was the month. title... That's the title of the album. Each album was titled after the current month. That was, that was part of my, of my whole concept. Oh. Mm. Word, is, like word, is, word is more. It's also very cocky, sir. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't ever want to come across like that, because I was cocky when I was young, man. Mm -hmm. And I grew out of that shit. You know what I mean? I always try to stay humble. So I hope I ain't coming across cocky. Man. No, 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 Say what uh, shout out to with the flowers. As uh, soon as we we heard that we we were booking you, thank you, man. I went and I listened and I said, damn, bro. I said that might have been Pap's problem, not that he was blackball. Mm -hmm. Is that lyrically you actually? You said that you actually yeah you actually in twenty. <laughs> All right, Brooklyn. <laughs> all right, all right. You actually, like, and, and, and I'm saying this with all love. Like, you might be in year 2088 with your bars. Mm. That, that. Nah, for real. I'm saying this, like, 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 like pour something, sir. You, you, um, you, know, you, know, you know what's cause... interesting? Go ahead. I dumbed it. I, pardon me, man. I made a mess. Mm. I dumbed it you're down. To. 
You I dumbed, dumbed it, it down. down. That's how I started getting more features, man. I kind of realized that. No cocky shit. Right. I said, damn, man, nobody want to do songs with me, man. I said, you know what? And, and, and then I was so hip hop. Real shit. I was so hip hop and I was so young minded. And notice I said I was so hip hop. Oh, if I'm doing a song with you, I'm, I'm try, I ain't gonna lie. I'm trying to go in. Right. You know what I mean? But as you get older, you start to learn how to make music. Right. It's not about having You're the best songs. verse. Yeah. It's about having the best song. Right. Yeah. So if I do a song with you... Almost I, about having the best chemistry. Yes. Like, yeah. I would do shit like, you know what I mean? Let's go in the studio together or, you know what I mean? Um, I wouldn't send you my verse. Now I do a verse real quick and I send you my verse here. Right. Take my verse, man. I want you to. I, I want you to kill me on this right. verse, because right. when you when you put in the effort to kill me, that's gonna make it a better record. Right. People, mm. you know what I'm saying? Yep. So as you get older, you learn. And when I started learning that and started doing that, I was able to get more features. I'm I'm featuring with people I never featured with in my life right now. Right. Because we started with Lil Wayne. Now let's, you say you had a list. Let's 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 get to that list. You said Lil Wayne. Yeah, Lil Wayne. Listen, on these monthly projects, yes. I got Lil Wayne. Go ahead. I got Fabulous. I got Fabulous. I've been living in Brooklyn my whole life. I never had a song with mm. Fab. Yeah, Fabulous is a different nigga. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to he's Fab. A, he's a different nigga, though. I got Rick Ross. Rick Ross. Big Fab, by the way. I got Two Chains. <laughs> I got uh, Busta Rhymes. I got my wife. I'm, I'm sorry, because I feel like we should be make, make noise for every one of those guests. So let's right. start all over. Let's start over, Let's start all over, yeah. Little Wayne, y'all. You guys got to have energy. Get your energy, yeah. Rick Ross. Go ahead. Rose. Rose. Fabulous. Remy Ma. Buster Rhymes. Good. I said Rick Ross, right? Yeah. <laughs> Say him again. We don't give a fuck. Rick Ross. Good. Anthony Hamilton. Good. Two chains. Kenny Boy. Swiss Beats. Swiss Beats. Timberland. Uh, the Game. Going, man. Right, right. No, 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 hold on. Crooked Eye, goddamn. Crooked Eye! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Crooked Eye. Home team. You know what I'm saying? That's fam, too. Wow. Wiz Khalifa, goddamn. Wiz Khalifa. Yeah. DJ Premier. Yeah. Yo! Large Professor. Oh! Pete Rock. Oh! I can keep going if y'all want me, man. All right. No, I ain't on it. Russ, goddamn it, Russ, man. Russ, Russ! My yeah. nigga Smoke Dizza. Hey. Smoke Dizza. Yeah. Yo, I, I, right there. So many great people, man. I was right. able to work with this year, bro. On your shit. On my shit. On, on my label. Shit. Honorable oh. Records. Honorable? I see the name of your label? Distributed, but yeah, Honorable Records is the name you of my label. You ain't start off. You're supposed to start out with that, saying that, sir. Oh, my bad. Honorable Records yes. is the name mm. of my label, man. It's the new death row. Honor before money. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just ride with Distributed it. Distributed by TuneCore, man. <laughs> yeah. Let's just ride with it. Let's ride with it. I feel like this is the new CEO of TuneCore right now. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. Nah, I'm yo. about to throw some shit out through TuneCore because of him. Now you got to. You're gonna get your money. One thing you know, you're gonna get your money. So you never worked with uh, E1 or um, uh, um, my man Ghazi, uh Empire I, I never Records. worked with E1. I worked with Ghazi. You know what I'm saying? But Ghazi, is, it's kind of hard to work with Ghazi. Really? And I've talked to other people, and they said the same. I, ain't, I don't want to talk bad about no, it. Man. You know what I'm saying? This is your facts. But yeah. it's difficult, you know what I mean, as an artist, when this is your bread and butter, right. and you, you don't really have no solid communication mm. with your record label or your distributor. Communication right. is key. Mm. And Ghazi has a history of, of failing to communicate properly. And I know mm. a lot of artists who watch this, they like this. Right on, Pat. You know what I'm saying? Because this right. shit is a fact, bro. Like, really? Yeah, yeah. I've talked to other, other artists, and that's the issue. And for me, I couldn't do that. Right. I couldn't, I, I can't do that. I can't, I need to communicate. Like, this is how I'm feeding my family. Right. You know what I mean? You can't, right. you know, so that was that. So, yeah, because, you know, Ghazi, my man, I hooked him up with Fat Joe. Oh, word. And they, they made a lot of money together. Yeah, I mean, you know, money, money is good, man. <laughs> <laughs> money is good. I also squashed the beef with Fat Joe and um, Jay-Z. I don't know if you know that. That's dope. I, I remember that. I remember on the record. Yeah, me and me and me. On the All The Way Up remix. <laughs> yeah, but he shouted out Sean Peckhouse first. Like, and Pe Peckhouse just said... Shout out to Yeah, 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 yeah. But I was supposed to get the shout out first. Like, <laughs> fuck, you went back out before me, man. Nigga. That's my nigga. nigga you know no, I me. remember that was a moment, though. Yeah, listen to me, I just man. Want, I just want to say this, man. What you've done here... Yes, please. I salute you, bro. Look at that. Look at this. Like all this shit right niggas. here. Look, this all big deal, niggas man. getting like, money. Yeah. That's like my that. son over there. The, Come in here. The nigga with the wild hair over there. That's my son right there. <laughs> yeah, that's my son. The and, and he got a Rolex on though but, too. Let's be that's clear. what's up. Let's but but you see what I said when I sat down? I said, damn, man. Yep. This shit is a real production. Like yep. doing yep. them TV shows and shit. Yep. You know what I mean? From VH1. 
yeah. I witnessed real solid production. I know what a real production is. Right. Yeah. I come here and I see y'all brothers setting up. Oh. I see everything. I just want to salute y'all. Yeah. I wish I had another one. I'll give you your flowers. Nah, 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 nah. <laughs> your flowers today. <laughs> 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 for real though, bro, for what you doing yeah. this shit. Like, yeah. You made a whole transition right. from doing the rap shit to this shit. Mm. And then you got everybody following you. Mm -hmm. So salute, brother. And everybody bro, doing it. podcasts now. Just, just like the, I had everybody doing reggaeton, too. Let's mm, just be clear. It's true. <laughs> yeah. Let's just be clear. Everybody, they realize, oh, shit, you want to go they to that party. They laughed and went and did it. You want to go to the Coco Cabana, too. The <laughs> yeah, Coco Cabana is nice, man. Yeah, you know I mean? No, I remember so, yeah. reggaeton. I remember yeah, nah, nah, shit, real man. shit, man. But, Pat, man. Um, Best to you, though, brother. Again, man. Again, man. Like, I think, I think because... What do you what do you consider is your biggest record that you was on? That I was on my biggest record. Yeah, I'm going to say thought I was going to stop remix featuring Two Chains, Busta Rhymes, <laughs> Remy, and Lil Wayne. God damn it! Out right now on all digital platforms. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. <laughs> say it again. Say it again. My new record, my new oh. single, is called Thought I Was Going to Stop featuring Two Chains, Busta Rhymes, Lil Wayne, Remy, <laughs> produced by Timberland. You got two records with Lil Wayne. No, he did the original and he's doing a remix. Oh, this is a remix. <laughs> so we got the video out now. Out here. I got two million views in the first two days. That's that's big. Shout out to my brother Will Santana. Big Will oh. Santana. Street Heat. Street Heat Entertainment. Street 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 you know what I'm saying? So video is out. We did two million views first two days. I know y'all rappers do a billion views, but for me, that's a good look. I'm from Brooklyn, sidewalk. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and independent being, money is different too. I'm being independent honest. Independent right. money is different. I'm from right. Bainbridge between Hopkinson and Saratoga. That's a good look for me. All right. Two million this views is, first day. This is me and, like, if you would Google me and EFN's biggest mm -hmm. arguments that's consistent on this show, mm -hmm. it's just one argument. That? It should have been on Quick Time or Salon. We already established. We, I, I know he's going to say. One argument, bro. I said, major or independent? That's really what it is. But you said earlier, I had $1.5 <laughs> million dollar deal. It's the worst... Worst mistake of my life, man. Why would you say that? Worst thing I ever did was took that deal with you. And you had Chris Lighty around at that time? Rest in peace to Chris Lighty. Mm. Explain this, sir. Worst mistake I ever made in my life. Okay. Listen, listen, young, up-and-coming artist. I don't know what he's about to say, but let's, let's just take the facts of what, what, is, what is about to be articulated. Right. He said he had $1.5 <clears throat> Dollar deal. No, but let's be, yeah, the deal. Plus it's not another 400000 right. for marketing that had nothing to do with the 1.5. Right. So that's plus pretty much $2 million. Okay. Uh, Basically, yeah. Yeah, that's one this point man nine. counts yes. well. He's a yeah, mathematician. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, we all know that, sir. <laughs> but yeah, you can describe that. Okay, you got a kid from Brooklyn, right? You got a PZ head kid from Brooklyn, you know what I'm saying, from the sidewalk. I don't wear that on my sleeve. As you see, I promote black love, positivity. I'm tougher than a lot of these niggas. Anyway, <laughs> I'm, I, I come from Brooklyn. I'm from the sidewalk, and he makes it into the music business, right? He's grinding. He doesn't have a record deal. This is me I'm talking about. I'm talking third person. You talking about your third person. I love right, it. Right, I'm talking about third I person. I was following. Nah, this kid, he's narrating his story. This kid is from Brooklyn. Everybody's rooting for him. Coincidentally, this is the same people that knew him before he signed the deal with K-Slate, but they're rooting for him now. It's cool. I embrace the love. I'm working hard. I'm building up a buzz. I gained that. I'm on the radio. Now I'm doing tours. I'm doing tours. I'm performing from state to state. Every other day, I'm releasing music on a constant basis. This shit goes on from 04 to 07. I never mm. had a record deal all that time. Mm. Mm. Everybody thought, oh, Pap is up, Pap is high. I never had a record deal. I was getting show money. I was getting feature money. And I was touring. Now I signed a record deal in 2007. So basically, I was independent that whole time. I'm getting money. Right. Once I signed the record deal, you have people telling you, you have individuals in white shirts and suits telling you, oh, you don't need to make that record like that. You need to make it like this. Mm. I lost Jive all records. I lost all, Jive records. I lost all creative control at that point. Wow. Let's, let's, let's be particular. Um, who is, is the CEO? Is it Barry Weiss? This guy, is from, it Dave this guy from uh, Jive Records, he's an asshole. What's his name? He, he goes Light? by the name of Jeff Finster. He's the devil Satan himself. <laughs> yeah. I, I don't think I'm going to put him out there. It's I'm going to put him out there. Diablo. Okay, you went there. You, you ever heard of this guy? No. What did you say his name is? Jeff Finster. No, but let's talk about him. <laughs> Fucking asshole. <laughs> this, this, dude is the, this dude is the worst guy you ever want to meet in your life. I hope he's watching because I'm still here. I'm still alive. And you wanted me dead. And getting money. You, you tried to ruin my life. I'm still getting money. My family's still eating. And I live in a mansion in New Jersey. 
So you didn't stop nothing. I, I think you got to make some noise for that. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you, 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 tried to end my, you tried to end my career. You know, you hated on me. You did everything you could think of. Yeah, but, I, but I don't you blame keep you. Rolling, brother. I don't this, blame this you for great. that, brother. I don't blame you. So, you know what I'm saying? What happened? Explain to us. Basically, this guy lied. This guy lied. Myself and my brother, K. Slay, man, who changed my life, who the, first, who the only one that gave me an opportunity to do this, to, to live out my dream. Legendary my brother, K. Slay. K. Slay. He gave a lot of people that opportunity. We love you, K. Slay. Time, yeah. brother, we love you, K. Slay. We need you on Dream Camp. Myself, myself and my brother, K. Slay, we signed at Jive Records. We had a bidding war. Numerous record labels were interested in signing me at the time. I told you, I sat down with Nas. He was going to Def Jam with Jay-Z. He wanted me to come over there. Um, Atlantic. And you talk uh, about Jive Records was on the same block as Violator at that time. Right. Yep. A bunch of different record labels were having a bidding war for me at this time. Right. This was a dream come true for me. Don't let me sit here and lie to you. A lot of guys come up here, I ain't a rapper, I'm a hustler. I ain't a rapper, I'm a gangster. I'm a rapper. I'm embracing it. You know what I'm saying? God I was damn. happy. Let's make some noise for <laughs> <laughs> You know what I'm saying? So I was happy to be having this moment. You know what right. I'm saying? And um, it was a bidding war. A lot of different labels wanted to sign me. So it just so happens I linked up with Buster Rhymes, who had a relationship with Chris Lighty, introduced me to Chris. Chris signed me to Violator. Chris is the Man, president. But, but you got to break down. What, what, what was you violated? Violated up. Violated up. Management. Management. Violated up. Management. I was Street okay. Sweepers Entertainment. Violated Management. Boston Rhymes and K. Slade did a joint venture. So now it's Street Sweeper slash Flip Mode. Mm. You understand what I'm saying? So, but now I'm my own boss, so it's even better for me now. Mm. But we're going back. Let's go back. So now I signed with Violator. I'm sorry, I didn't sign with Violator. You don't sign to Management. You'd be a dummy. Right. I link up with Violator. We're working. So now I got this bidding war. And 700,000 off over here, 400,000 from Nas over here. He's going to Def Jam, which K. Slay wasn't with my brother, and I right. trust him. You know right. what I'm saying? Um, job comes in at 1.5 million. All right, it's not that we money hungry. Our brother Chris Lighty is the president of that job. Mm. So we like, it's a I no brainer. I thought it was Dave Lighty that was the A&R. No, Chris Lighty was the president. Okay, okay, all right, all right, cool, cool. So we cool. like, it's a no brainer. Chris right. the president, wow. we Gucci, we go to live, we go to job. Right. We go to job. Yeah. We look on the internet a week later, Chris, Chris Lighty is not the president no more. Chris Lighty, yeah. We like, what the fuck? Say, well, we been hooking with, we been mad boots. <laughs> <laughs> we like, yo, Chris. You couldn't get insider information? <laughs> what's going on? What do they mean you not the president no more? <laughs> you like, what's it's going on? Off. This is where the guy. The not coming off, though. This is <laughs> <laughs> if it does, you know it's about to get yeah, yo, yeah. This is kind of where the fuckery started at. <laughs> so we like, damn. Chris is not the president, OK. We rolling with the punches. He's, he give an explanation. I'm still, in, I'm still going to communicate. This is where he brings this devil in mm. by the name of Jeff Finster. He's going to be handling your project now. So just to summarize it, what this dickhead did, I hate to talk like this, man. <laughs> no, it's okay. I try to be positive, man. Nah, it's okay. <laughs> you got to let it go. This is therapy for you. Right, right. It's therapeutic. <laughs> so we're doing records, right? So we're in the meeting, and I'm playing all of my records. And me and Slay are like, all right, these are the three records we think it can be singles. Mm. So this guy's like, okay, I'm gonna play all three records for the owner of the label who signed me, who, who which was the reason why everybody at the label was mad. Was that was that Barry Weiss or Barry Weiss and Peter Thea was the two bosses that job when I okay. signed. They okay. flew me out and the guy told me in my face, I signed you because my son is a fan of Law Library. This is why he signed me. This is why all the workers at the label were mad because I didn't come through none of them. I went straight to their boss. They hated my guts at the label. You know what I'm saying? So, talking that talk right this is now, real Pat. shit. Keep I, going, I, I can't make this up if I try. Keep going. So, all these niggas at the label is mad. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm going to throw a couple of these niggas on the bus. I ain't going to do it. All, you all should. These... <laughs> nah, I don't do it, man. Everybody at the label, is, everybody at the label they, they, yeah. they, they feel some type of way. He's on your left shoulder, I'm on your right shoulder. <laughs> do it when you're ready. So, check it. <laughs> so, check it. Check it. I'm on job records. Now, you got to remember, this is an R&B label. So at that time, Nori know the formula. Yeah. You push your shit out, you get an R&B nigga, you out of here, you going right. to the moon. And who's the R&B nigga? Everybody's on the label. Chris Ooh, Brown, T-Pain, R. Kelly, thank God I ain't do that one. <laughs> um, you know what I'm saying? I could, I could keep going, I could keep going. It's a lot of R&B niggas on this label. I'm on the label. My deal, 1.5 million. Right. So what they doing is they mad because I signed directly to their boss, they blocking all the R&B niggas off my project. I'm talking to R&B niggas. 
about doing features and they blocking them. So this blocking is the beginning them. of your blackballing. Yeah. Yeah. He don't think it's real. I'm nah, trying to tell him. <laughs> These niggas, I'm following this, you. I live this shit. Uh-huh. So they blocking me. They blocking all the R&B niggas off my project. I'm like, damn, this is fucked up. You know what I'm saying? So this guy, Jeff Finster, me and, me and my brother, K. Slay, we in the meeting. We played the three singles. He's like, okay, I'm going to take these three singles and I'm going to play them for the owner of the label right. so we can push one out there. You know what I mean? One of them, we wanted to get Snoop on, what Snoop got on. Shout out to my brother, Snoop Dogg. He got on my first single. Um, so he comes back to us, this guy, Jeff Finster, who fucking, we you know, got this illegitimate motherfucker by default because Chris Lighty is no longer the president. He comes oh, back he's the to president us. at this point, this guy. This, I don't know what he is. What the title this nigga we are. Uh, don't let me call him what I want to call him. Okay. So he comes back to us, and he's like, yo, I played the records for um, the owner of the label, and this is the one he likes. And we like, damn, you sure? <laughs> okay. So this is the single. The single go out. What's that single? Just so happy. Uh, it's, 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 it's fucking... Um, I think it's Bang It Out featuring Snoop Dogg. Mm-hmm. But we had another one that was more commercial called Fit It Had Low. Mm. Mm. So we at the label one day and we see the owner of the label and he, we like, yo, you, you know, we glad you like the record. He like, we, we, we glad you like the record. He like, one record. It's only one record. Mm. So this motherfucker lied about playing the music for the owner because he wanted the record to come out that he wanted to come out. It's not even that he wanted the record to come out. He wanted to pay Snoop Dogg so he could get kicked back, which was $70,000. Wow. Wow. You understand what I'm saying? This is the fuck shit. This, this, is why I, this is why I'm saying what I'm saying to you. This right. is what he did. So he lied about playing the records to the owner of the label. Mm. Then he chose a record which he can overcharge my budget for because none of them was able to take a penny out of my budget, which is why the way he was mad. Wow. He lied about that. Whatever he did, he did the fuck shit. Now we, we, we see the owner of the label. We, we find out he didn't even play the music for the nigga. The single was out already. So before they find out he did the fuck shit, he got me off the label real quick. Uh, you know what I'm saying? And when you say got him off the label, that's like the famous thing where people say the, 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 you got dropped. You got dropped. Well, yeah. they couldn't drop me like, like a bad... They dropped me, but they couldn't drop me like a bad habit because me and K. Slee negotiated the deal where we keep the 1.5. Make some noise for that. Let's make some noise. <laughs> You got to drop the benefits. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So we got off we got off the label, man. I hope I'm not saying too much. Nah, you good. Nah, nah. This is what this is what This if is anything, what happened. This is what happened. If anything, I'm gonna tell you something, Pat. As as an artist, when you if I do a song with you, you do a song with me. I want to, want my fans to fuck with you. I want my your fans to fuck with me. So essentially, this is what this is. This is the first time I ever traded fans. Like, every time I did a record with a person, I want to date fans. Mm. The only time I ever got their fans is Red Hit Tone. Right. <laughs> Just being honest. That's right. what features are. And, yeah, and you think about R. It. Kelly, when I did a record with R. Kelly. <laughs> <laughs> you got his fans? <laughs> Sorry. I, 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 yeah, yeah. yeah well, I, it's, look, my only record I ever did with Jay-Z is with R. Kelly. Mm-hmm. Damn, why you kidding? Yo, I sent all of my core fans who follow me, I sent R. Kelly Cure. This is for my core fans who buy my music every month. I sent them Cure, y'all. No, no. I sent them Cure, and him and his little uh, minions, whatever you call them, they played games. But I ain't really mad at them because they was under the influence of the fuck shit, you know what I'm saying? Right. But whatever, Wait, man. You went right over my head. You sent them Cure? I had a record called Cure that eventually Eric Badu did it. This shit is crazy. Ooh. That's better. I, I want you to hear it, man. No, but at the time, I'm the hottest nigga in the world. My deal won 1.5 million. Let's just keep talking about that 1.5. I love it. It's uh, out of here. Right, right. At you know that, what that time, that, that, that time frame. At that time, time right, is of right, the right, essence. Right, right. And that's, by the way, he, he's not a molester at this time. When you try to know <laughs> He's a molester, but nobody knows. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. All right. Um, but, but, knows to everybody. Okay, you know so what? Unfortunately, so what, man. All right, so this is the time. So you... you you calling your label to try to get R on the record. You calling your label to try to get. I'm on. I'm on a label with these guys. We label mates. Yeah. And who, who is it? R. Kelly. It's R. Kelly. T. Pain. T. Pain. Well, I fucked the T. Pain thing up. I can. I can own that. That was my. What fault. happened with T. Pain, sir? Uh, because I can see it in your face. Something happened. W- when I went, when I went to the T. Pain party, so we can lock the deal in, for him to do the record. Somebody got beat up. You know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna talk too much about that, but. That was my fault, you know what I mean? They have on Timberlands. <laughs> yeah, because maybe this is why T-Pain don't like Timberlands. This is why T-Pain don't like Timberlands. Oh, this is why. 
She can't do it like Timberland. No Timberland. No, 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 not T-Pain. Not T-Pain, of course not. No, 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 no. T-Pain is my guy. T-Pain was the only guy on the label who was going to do a record with me eventually at that time. Wow. You know what I'm saying? I was told when I first signed to the label that Chris Brown expressed that he would do a record with me. But they kept him away from me because they was hating on me too. You know what I'm saying? This is pre-Rihanna. <laughs> yeah, what? I'm asking. Yeah, this, is, this is back then. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So before, I mean. But thank God I'm in a great space now, and I got my now. new single. Thought I was gonna stop featuring Two Chains, Remy Ma, Busta Rhymes. We in the now. We in the now. Two Chains. I don't want them to see this. And be like, he's bill. He's bill. No, nah, 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 you ain't bill. Nah, nah. I'm in a great space, man. But this is nah. therapeutic. Yeah, yo. And, and by this the is way, stuff that people can learn from. That's really at okay. the end of the day, people okay. can learn from all these experiences. Got gotcha. you. And by the way, look, this is this, what's the name of this watch company? Right there, right there at the bar. Tally and Time. Tally and Twine. And Twine. So this, this is a black-owned watch company. Wow. Yeah. It's a black-owned great, watch great company. Dudes. I, I met like them during the Art Basel. Great yeah. dudes. What'd you say? I met them during the Art Basel you, at the yeah, at Break the, it down. Rock the Bell's uh, co- event. And I just met them. They, they want to collaborate with Drink Champs. They sent over some watches for both of us. You got the same watch? Same watch. You couldn't put it on today, sir? You know, <laughs> I, it's for special occasions I wear it. All right, cool. Classy you, you, watch, man. We got to get you You got to get you back into watches. We got to get you yeah, a watch. Yeah, I got my eye watch, man. Yo, I see pictures of you back in the days. You was jewelry. That yeah, you yeah, like, yeah, that was back yo, in the days. That was back yo, in the days. You don't want to buy jewelry, yo. Oh, what? Well, you don't want to buy <laughs> nothing. He getting money though. You ain't getting your own. My bro. kids is getting that money, not me. <laughs> not me, brother. I ain't getting shit. Nah, we need to upgrade something about you. Yo, my man always like, yo, my man always like, yo, make sure you call him DJ EFN. He don't like when they call him Effin, man. <laughs> no, I'm used to it. I'm used to it. Yeah. Yo, oh, you a legend. You work with me anytime. You <laughs> need a great guy. Oh, oh, he, he's a legend. He's a legend. He's a, but let's, let's just finish this because um, um, timely twine. This is fine. Timely twine. They know what, they know my heart is in the right place. Nah, Tally great, and Twine. Actually, yeah, great dudes. Uh, no. They say they the, the, let the smell well, fresh. The only, or, no, the, the only I think black owned luxury watch company. Luxury watch. This is five bands. Yeah, from what they told me. This is five bands. That shit is fighter. Yeah, yeah. yeah, this is black owned. Yep. I like that shit, yeah, man. Yeah, I told out. him that earlier. I said, yeah, 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 no, he had, he, when I was, he was like, look at it. is classy. Yeah. Yeah, it's classy. Man, real classy, man. I would wear this shit. Yeah. We going we should do um because I don't know how to pronounce your last name. Ooh, My last name? Yeah, Nafakato. <laughs> what is it? It's you call me avocado? No. <laughs> you not Tino too, bro. You suck Tiago. My shit is mad easy to pronounce. That's Tiago. My, my shit is Naciandi. Yeah, yeah, come on, man. It's a Sicilian name, though. This is, name, though. This Sicilian, is yeah. listen. That's what the name of the watch should be called. Naciandi. What's it? Naciandi. Yeah. <laughs> Santiago Naciande. There you go. That's fu- not Drink Champs. We two L- Drink Champs fucking this watch up. We- yeah, <laughs> man. We can do a Drink Champs watch. No, man. We are not elegant at all. Uh, <laughs> we are not what elegant. You're drinking Habiki. I'm drinking my Moana. It's not elegant. But we hooded it just set out. And now, Papoose, you, you out here with your, 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 your... I see you outside. I mean, the minimum, you know. <laughs> the minimum. I ain't, you know what I mean? I, ain't, I, ain't up I got a watch pickles. show. I got a show Word. just about watches. Is is what what did you want first when you got in the industry? The chain or the watch? I ain't gonna lie, the way y'all niggas shit it back in the days, man, with them rollies, I always wanted a rollie, man. The way right. y'all talked about it in y'all era, man. Yes, yes, no yes, re Jay Z, yes, 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 yes. He was a part yes, of it. Yes, yes. Don't let him fool y'all. Yeah, no, 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 back no, on no, that no, shit. No, no, he was too far. He was on way right now. Yeah, yeah, I love it. He had them records, man. He had them tunnel bangers and all that Yeah. So, so it was the watch first. It was the watch, because man. you know why I always judge. I always know if a person chooses the watch first, that means they're gonna last longer because the chain is gonna. Wow, you know what it was? When I was thirteen, I had gold teeth and gold chain, Gucci links. It was high low, but I had. I, a, I had gold. I had all that. Guess where my gold fronts was from? What? I'll be square more. Guess market. where mine was from? Where? Picking Avenue in Brownsville. <laughs> <laughs> and right here, it's USA Flea Market. Doesn't sound, go. like a good, <laughs> doesn't sound like a good place, but sir. I had, <laughs> <laughs> I had like, gold teeth and I had, yeah. I had chains when I was real little, but yeah. I always wanted a Rolex because the way these guys were shining in the industry with it, right. I was like, I need one one day. You know what I'm saying? So, right. It's, it's different. Like what, what, what did, what did um, Mick Mill say? What's that Rolex touch my wrist? Uh, I'm going to be honest with you. Uh, I like how you ain't correct me, lyric. correct me, <laughs> <laughs> correct me if I'm wrong. I don't know if it was for my birthday or Christmas. I think it was my birthday. 
Give a round of applause for my wife. She bought me this as a yeah. gift, man. Yeah. <laughs> Uh-huh. It, was a, it was a birthday gift from my wife, this, this Rolex right here. Uh, Jesus, Jesus. And then uh, I seen y'all wedding. Y'all got ma- where you got married? We got married in Long Island at a, uh, a very unique place, man. It was a castle? Yeah, it was a castle. It was a, it was a real castle. But like I said earlier, when she was incarcerated, we, we got married over the phone. Right. So we had to have that big ceremony yes. when she came home. So she deserved it. We did right. it at the castle. That's you know cool. what's funny? You know, didn't Remy Martin's people call us to, to, to book Remy Martin? Yeah. 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 Oh, so and, yeah, this is funny. So I'm like, yo, they really? That's why I thought about y'all rap battle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, oh, he going to be on, so I'm next. Because <laughs> <laughs> to me, it was almost like a battle. It was like, all right, cool. <laughs> the is coming. <laughs> but oh, y'all yeah. never rap battle, never. No, I, I really. Uh, she would kill me if she rap battle. I, like, I like you being humble. Nah, like she you. nice, man. She nice. <laughs> that would be an ill versus. Yeah. Y'all against each other. Nah, you trying to get oh! me killed. That was like my next question. <laughs> yeah, I would have put him against his wife. Husband and wife nah, versus. versus. Holy nice. shit! I went, okay, hold on. I went battle. Well. You like you 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 fuck with versus? Yeah, that shit is fire. Who who who, who your ultimate opponent? Oh, you ultimate want. opponent? Yeah. Uh, I would do it with anybody. Whoever nah, want to smoke. Now, nah, the nigga that you want to smoke with. Who oh, you want to smoke with? I don't got nobody in particular that I want to smoke with. The only person I went in battle was L. Cool J. You, mm. Come on, Slime, stop. <laughs> I'm being real. That nigga, nobody that, really want to battle he L. Turned, L. Cool I'm J. just saying, in life, period, I would battle anybody except for L. Cool J. That nigga turns into Jack the Ripper and ends your career. Mm. Let me tell you something. I went to an LL show. By the way, I, this is real talk. I got home board. I came to the party. It's top 40. All the Def Jam niggas is on a top 40 tour. They're like on a 40 day tour. I'm only on 14 days of those tour. They like, nigga, you just top, you barely even make it top 40. Mm-hmm. Everyone else. <laughs> Everyone else is real top 40. Like, you just crossing over, nigga. Right. Like, right. You, going, you ain't gonna be on all these dates. The first day of the tour. L. I had to watch LL set. He was closing out the whole shit. I got this part of the show where he just hands out roses. See what I'm saying? This nigga different. He's handing out roses. Who else could do that? Who else maybe Kane. Maybe Kane. Kane could do that. LL is different, though. No, I love LL is different. No, he is. Because of his commercial success. So I'm, listen, 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 let me finish this and I'll let y'all take, take, take it back over. When Al is giving these bitches roses, they're going, <laughs> <laughs> and I'm looking, and he's just he's just walking around. This is when his shirt come off, though. Is he doing a song? His can go stay on. I think what he song invented he that. Doing? By the way, huh? I think he invented that. L L. They're taking the shirt oh, off. Oh yeah, yes. yeah. So I'm looking, and by the way, Al's my man. I got his phone number, but by the way, he has three rooms on tour. He has his room where he just talked to himself. He just in there. <laughs> all right, y'all, like, I think, right, think I'm bullshit. Well, he talks right. himself? Listen, he just in there like, it's about to go down. <laughs> like, like, I need love. He has his kid's room. <laughs> then he has all oh, his staff room. He has three rooms. Oh, you never been, been to the show where I, 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 wish, I, I wish. listen, any, like, everybody who, all rappers who did shows, I was like, this nigga Norris give me really way too much. But anyway. <laughs> So I, this is my first night. I'm on tour with these niggas. That, uh, by the way, all of them got helicopters, private planes. I'm still on United. I'm on, I'm on Continental Airlines with the same top 40 records of them. Def Jam was like, you just, you just gotta fit in, man. Yeah, <laughs> so, <laughs> so I'm like, all right. So this is the first. People. This is the first night. This is the first night. You just I'm gotta like, fit in. You just gotta fit in. Like, you just, just go, Norman. Like, you get the same money as they get. You just like get the same Sign treatment. Some money. Fuck it. I'm going left, right. I'm, I'm like, going man. Fuck it. From the bottom, like, fuck man. it. I'm going with it. So this is the first night I actually stayed to watch L perform, and. My nigga, this nigga has parts of his show. Because I've seen KRS One. You, you ever seen KRS One give a speech at his show? No. Yo, Yo KRS will rock the party an hour straight and then just stop. Do a lecture. Like, Do you guys love yourself? Yeah. <laughs> and, and, this, and, 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 and you and tuned in. This and you tuned in. I don't know if I really love me. Yeah. <laughs> now you tuned in to whatever Karen's want to say. Yo, I swear to God. So, <laughs> How you think I got that tennis ball? <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Yes. So, LL has that same exact shit. I don't shit. know if I love me. <laughs> so, LL, <laughs> so, LL has the same exact shit, but he's like, speak, he like, yo, 
yo, man, you know what I'm saying? Before he go, I need love. He just giving out these roses. And you're not really realizing that he about to go, I need love. <laughs> and then the bitch is just falling out. They can, oh. And by the way, very professional. His wife and kids is in the next room. I told you, it's three rooms. One for himself, him and his security. Black yeah. love, that's why I respect yes, that. Yes, guy, yes. You know? yes. Him and his security is just gassing him. He's just walking around in one, one room. Then his wife and his kids is in another room. And then like his production and all of them in another room. And I tell you, man, that's when I realized. I was like, damn, bro. This is why I came into this game. Mm. Like, and I have never had a chance to put my show together like LL. Ever. See what I'm saying about LL? Ever. You, you, you go into a battle. When I was a kid, I used to battle. You know what I'm saying? Right. Right. You go into a battle, you're like, I'm going to battle this nigga. LL morphs into another character called yeah. Jack the Ripper. You don't even know who you battling. How can yeah. you battle this nigga? I would never Let's battle Let's talk him. about the cannabis situation. You think LL was being a bully or cannabis tribe? Let's be clear. I don't think he was being a bully. Shout out to Cannabis, very dope lyricist, yeah. by the way. By the way, I don't and know why. And he mentioned he... us in a rhyme recently, Yeah, I think. he said that we went in Versus. cinema car service. Sir, no, that's what... not what he said. That's what he, he said. Right. He did a song called Versus. But he said something about we didn't send him a he car. Said, name, <laughs> he said we didn't send him a car service. <laughs> Sir, nah, shout out to Cannabis, We live in the future. We would have sent you an Uber. <laughs> it's not car service, <laughs> We don't send car services, so we don't do that. But we got you. We love you. Shout out to Cannabis, very dope lyricist. No, but, dope. Okay. I got to say that. In your opinion. I mean, one of the um, illest lyricists. I don't, think, I don't think I was being a bully. I think when he said, uh, Give me correct me if I'm your... wrong, yo, meth with a charm, man. LL, that mic on your arm. Can I borrow that? Yeah. I think it was all fair and love and war after that. You know what I'm saying? But, but like I said, shout out to Cannabis, but I think LL had a legitimate reason to go left after that. I don't want to wake up old demons. Both of them are yeah. dope. I respect yeah. both of them. No, yeah, it's over. It's over. But LL, you know what I mean? Do you consider yourself a battle rapper? Nah, I used to do that when I was a kid. I'm not even lying to you. Right. He, oh, my line? We used to bang on the hallway wall together. He know. So right now, Uncle Murder say. <laughs> um, right now, it's like, for me, and I love the battle culture. I love battle rap. You know what I'm saying? But for me, it's like, it's almost like, Going backwards because I was doing it when I was younger, and then I, I came, I returned into, I transitioned right. into a recording artist. Other you know what I'm saying? I can't say if somebody come with the right bag, I won't do it. You know right. what I mean? And you would do verses? Verses, I do that. Yeah. Against Uncle Murder? <laughs> or against I do it against Remy? anybody. I do it against anybody. Cannabis? I do it against whoever. And you Cannabis? didn't say you have one opponent. opponent. One opponent? Nah, I don't. No. no? I don't discriminate. I'm from Brooklyn. Okay. <laughs> let's, 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 let's think, guys. Who's this perfect opponent? You know, I don't know. Versus. If they think I'm worthy, I'll come do it. Yes. Cass? What do you say? Cass? Cass? Hustle? Bleak? Shout out to Cass. Shout out to Bleak. Man, Bleak? Shout out to my brother Bleak. Man, Bleak is. We talk from time to time. Shout Freeway. out to Bleak. Shout out to Freeway. Freeway. Did somebody say outcast? I'm gonna, I'm gonna snuff somebody. <laughs> Come on, guys. Y'all niggas are different time right now. I'm gonna snuff whoever said outcast. Like a, man. Like a versus. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh, no, that'd be interesting. That'd be interesting. Not Joe Button. Shout out to Joe Button. I don't think he rap no more. Yeah, me neither. He be tired. I've been, to, I've been trying to have him come outside for a while. Oh, what? <laughs> no, I'm fucking with you. I'm like, that's my man. That's my man. I, 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 they said Gilly and Joe. Like I seen that they were talking yeah. about they gonna get do it and then and do new raps. I seen that. Yeah, I seen that. Who you I, think who you think will win that? Gilly or Joe? Both of them nice though. They are back. Actually, both niggas great sleep on Gilly. Lyricists. Gilly good raps, huh? It's just um, I, I, I don't know. I don't. I don't know. They both man. nice. They both but nice. But it would have to be new lyrics now, right? Because. Joe can't keep, keep doing pump it up. <laughs> like, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, what he, happened, though? Somebody called somebody out and somebody said, let's go. And no, then we ain't hear nothing else. No, I called Joe out. I said, I oh. want to call to Joe. And Joe said, no. <laughs> to oh, me. He you, got, me. you got too many hits, He man. turned me down immediately, which I respected. But what, what, what people <laughs> don't know is we were at bar one hanging out. And I gave oh. him the same. I was like, hey, look, nigga, let's go, me and you. Because he, he doubted me. I had called Cam out. 
Mm. And this is before Dipset shit. Okay. And Joe was like, yo, leave Cam alone. Boy. And I was like, damn, <laughs> nigga, I thought we was podcast, bro. Somebody else was supposed to go at it with you, though. It was Beans. Beans. Me and Beans. Beans. Me and Beans, right, but then right. I hooked him up with Kanye. We ain't seen Beans since. <laughs> <laughs> Which I, I had gonna, to do. I was supposed I got to do. To mention it, and, you know, and I'm not bragging. It's yeah. rich for purposes only. I live in Jersey now. Yeah. Let me not even say I got the mansion in Jersey. Yeah. I got the crib in Jersey now, and I, I went to the mall one day and I pulled in, and I turned. I seen my nigga Beanie Siegel, man. Where the mother? He was in, in the, the mall. mall. In the, in the show Hill. He was in the parking uh-huh. lot. The big boy mall. No, Westfield. Right? Westfield. Westfield. Neiman Westfield. Marcus. Okay. Him Neiman Marcus. Look, big boy. They was in, he, the, in the mall. He back up, baby. <laughs> he back up. <laughs> I told Beans to come outside, and he came outside. Shout out to Beans. Beans that's, a legend, too. That, nah, that's my bro. Like, <laughs> a lot of people thought I was, like, chastising them, but it was just an old tactics I used because I, I didn't know the Kanye shit was going to happen, but I just was like, yo, like, a lot of us are older individuals that been in the game for 10, 12, 15 years. Sometimes... We have, I don't want to say low self-esteem because that's a bad term, but we we forget how important we are to the community. Mm-hmm. And what it is is sometimes you got to be in front of the community. Sometimes if you don't come outside, people ain't going to say, yo, Pat, yo, I'm, yo you, you're a dope, you know what I'm saying? Right. You actually got to come outside. outside. Mine. You actually got to get come outside to get your flowers. Mm-hmm. A lot of us, yeah, a lot of us, that's right. Real a shit. lot of us stay indoors and just expect... Just expect the love to come to us. Wow. You know what I'm saying? So a lot of the times, that's what I was, that's what I realized. I, I, y'all Miami niggas relax. But, Excuse me? No, no, no. <laughs> but that's what I realized about Miami was me being in New York was one thing. But me being in Miami, it allowed people to give me my flowers in Miami because people were sitting back saying, yo, you know what? I'm a New York nigga. I could never stop being black. John Singleton was lived down the block from me for the, the last Rest few years peace. of his life. Rest in peace. And John Singleton just said, you will never be on my show. I said, why? He said, your New York accent is horrible. Like, you can, in a good way, it's my Let's man. talk about that. Let's talk about that. Snowfall. Why is it that other regions hate New York so much? Oh, don't start this, please. No, 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 we got to talk about this. We got to talk no, about this. No, because he thinks I hate New York. He, that's why I no, say no, no, don't start No, 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 this. no, no. T.I. my nigga. T.I. my nigga. No, a lot of people. T.I. my nigga, he feel the same way. See, Let yeah. me tell y'all why I think, and then y'all can correct me. Oh, Pat, who's you going there, bro? Y'all can correct me. Oh, no, no, my no. God. This shit got to be talked about, because I'm... That's just... I'm you, man. shit, man. Niggas hate <laughs> her aura. Niggas hate Yo. her aura. And I'm a summer where, where are you living right now, man? All right, relax. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm still in New York. Okay? I'm going to summarize it. Mm. Y'all mad at us because we was doing this shit before y'all. Like, nah, nah, it's nah, like nah. niggas is like, feel like oh, New York bad. started hip-hop. Um, when we when New York was shining, they ain't let us shine. So now that my region is shining, fuck New York. Let's clown these niggas. Fuck they Timberlands. Hold on. Fuck oh, you heard. <laughs> let them do this shine. Let them do this shine. Yes, yes. Let them do this shine. Oh, shit. Yeah. Why y'all yes. be hating on us? We didn't mean pardon us for starting hip hop. We didn't mean. Let me not say too much. I fuck yeah. with all Don't regions. Don't say a lot. I fuck say with all lot. regions. See, look, look. I, I think... walk everywhere freely and I get love because right. I show love. Pap, there's but a, mi- there's a misunderstanding. Back. Hold on. Why y'all love yeah, us back, you, though? Take over, yeah. I want to know why y'all be why y'all be stunting on New yeah. York. The jokes is cool. Yeah, the they jokes funny. is cool. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They're very funny. But y'all got to stop hating on the city, man. Come yeah, on. Yeah, they got to stop hating on us. Thank you. Wait, first of all, and you know this is true. Okay. First of all, there's a misunderstanding. There's no hating on New York. What you call that, though? Well, I don't know. There might be somebody. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. What do we label that shit? Yeah, what do we label well, it? Well, I, don't know. <laughs> I don't know specifically what you're talking about. Okay. You know what I'm talking about? Right. Because for me, I sit back, and I see New York niggas reposting that shit, and I'm like, okay. But at the end of the day, it's hate. It's I'll funny. be posting them Timberland jokes. It's cute. Oh, what, oh, the Timberland fine. jokes? That oh. can't be what that No, no, is. all of New York. I don't, be, I don't like everything. them shit right. tonight. <laughs> do you know, Damn, I don't like but it. do you know the jokes that when people would go up to New York or would go talk to people, the jokes on the South too? We never create no nabbers. Let's address yeah. the problem. No, but I'm yeah. saying no South jokes. Let's yes. be honest. No, no, it's no, New York there, jokes. No, no, there was. Back, no, that's it's coming from. He's talking what the, what we've talked about on the show is okay. in the past. I'm talking about '90s. I can't talk for right now. What's happening? But yes. in the '90s, okay. the industry. It's not. It wasn't the artists in New York. It wasn't. 
nobody. Jasper would be if easy you to talk go. to any artist from the South that that comes from that era, they all have love and respect for the culture and where does the culture come from? Right. And, for they the, also and all have their inspirations hate. are artists from New York. Uh, they also have real, hate or they also have No, they have hate. It's like a say, chip on their shoulder. Yo, let, let me tell you but, something. But wait, no, wait, okay, wait, okay, let, okay, me, yeah, finish, yeah, let yeah, me finish. Let me finish. Because yeah. this is a misconception. It's not a hate for New York. It's a hate for the industry that was in New York. The industry, the same hate. The same I, thing I that you don't that. like, the same thing everybody that. hates. Because the industry was based in New York. So what happened? Y'all was oppressed? Y'all feel oppressed? No, it was they wasn't. I feel oppressed. They was filtering what was getting signed. Just like how you felt blackballed, they were blackballing the regions. Mm. The rest of the country. So y'all feel black more. That's why the West Coast, when everything popped off, that's what they were they were they were attacking. But but, but can I ask you guys a question? Y'all been running the game you for, guys. Fi- for 15 years, y'all. Who the y'all South? Got, uh, enough reparations? Yeah, I mean, the South? <laughs> I've, I've only been running the game, the podcast, <laughs> okay, okay, for okay, about okay. I don't know how long. <laughs> I, mean, I don't know, man. No, I but know. I feel you. Because listen, I sat down Did with T.I. on and off air. And T.I. Feel, feel the same way. What, watch, watch with the mic. Grab it. Pull it up. Okay. No, no. Pull it up. Okay. T. I, was, <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. I don't do this shit. <laughs> oh, shit. MC Search. Let's just answer it. Answer it. Fuck it. Yo, I'm a hip-hop today. nigga. Don't, no, don't no one call me but hip-hop niggas, right? Back no, no. Lift it out of there, bro. The grill again. Oh, okay. Okay, shit. Kicking him in the grill. Shout out to Search, man. <laughs> MC Search, you live on Drink Chance with Pat Poos. Make some noise for MC hey! Search. Hey! What's going on? He said, what's up, Pat? Back to the grill again. The uh, grill again. Yo, salute, yo salute. sir, so let me ask you something. Was there ever a time in the industry you didn't have a job? Um, nah, I've had a job. Put it close to the mic. God damn it, my brother. Let's make some noise for sir. Hey, no, no, no. Hey, I'm going to call you right back. Since I finished going, Pat. Hey, hey, listen. You and Pap and your whole team, meet me at Carbone's. Dinner's on me tonight. All right, it's, it's, uh, it's, I'll, I'll, I'll be there. I'm all right. Jet Blue, man, tonight. I'm done. I'll right, hit you for like phone. 10 minutes. All right, all right. All right, all right bro. All right, I'll cool. let me meet that guy, though. Yo, Search. Oh, Search is You ever met MC Search? No. Great dude, yeah, look, look, By dude. the way, I, I, I was saying... Nice. I love him for that. I was saying that playing around, but Search has always had a job in hip-hop, which is crazy because I feel like that's how we're supposed to walk away. Like, when, you, when it's really time to retire... You supposed to work at Def Jam. You supposed to work at TuneCore. At Echo, like he did. He yeah. went to Yo, Echo. I'm so complex. glad y'all saying this because this is what I've been advocating. Me and my team have been advocating. Am I lying, Snaps? We've been right. advocating for me to have a position at TuneCore. Yep. Not just as a person who, uh, I, f- I can't think of the word right now. I'm a little hit. What'd you call it? Brand ambassador. There you go. Not, as yeah. a, not just as that, but as someone who tells equity. the truth to artists and yeah. have equity right. in the establishment because I can give an honest... Opinion on why artists should gravitate right. towards y'all. Right. right. And you were saying it just now. You was, you was being honest. I mean it. I'm right. not even right. bullshitting y'all. Yeah, we know. Right. By experience. We know. Right. And that's I, I, I what I did. I was watching you on other interviews, and I've seen you, you know, re- really believe, like, really standing by that. Yeah, faith. I yeah. mean it. Because, like yeah. I said, I lost my deal, and I went to TuneCore, and eventually it worked out for me. And I can't say right away, but eventually I stuck with it. The bag is coming in. Well, before we wrap it up, Yes. What was that mind state? Because let's let's just think about artists who are coming in this game. They get a hit record. They get this this this, this buzz. They get the same deal, the one point five, the one point two, the one point seven, or whatever. Then they lose it. What was your mind state when you when you lost it? And did you blame yourself? Did you blame Bustler? Did you blame K. Slay? Right. I know that's a two part question. I'm sorry. The maturity in me. As you get older, you mature. And one thing about maturity, you learn. You have to look at the man in the mirror. I blame mm-hmm. myself right. because I should have knew better. I made mistakes. Right. I mixed the industry with the street. I thought that when people didn't cooperate with me and people hated on me, I should have dressed them with violence. Right. And mm-hmm. that was a big mistake mm-hmm. by me doing that. So due to the fact that I did that, I have to take full responsibility regardless of what Jeff Finster, regardless of the haters, regardless of the blackballing, I should have knew better as right. a young man. You know what I mean? You, know, you understand what I'm saying? Right. Take ownership and you got to understand me, I'm going to be honest with y'all, the closest person to me, man, in the world, our mothers are identical twin sisters. My cousin, Strong, he got murdered. And, you know, music was our dream. <coughs> yeah, I knew how to rap, but it was our dream. So when we was hustling and doing negativity in the street, music was always our way out. So when I got that $1.5 million deal and we was touring and I lost my deal and everything fell apart, we went back to the street. 
And when no we, way. When we went back well, to I the never street, knew that. yeah, I went back to the street. When we went back to the street, my cousin lost his life. Mm. So I feel like if my career would have took off, maybe that would have never happened. So you got to be very careful and very mindful of the decisions you make and the mistakes you make. You know what I'm saying? I don't beat myself up to the point where I blame myself, but I can't help but say, damn, what if my career would have took off? Would my little cousin still be here? You know what I'm saying? So, you know, be careful, be mindful, and um, don't take things for granted. Right. Let's yeah, take a yeah, shot for little cuz, man. Let's yes, take a shot. Yes. That was real. I, I definitely, oh shit. Nah, it is no lie. Yeah. yeah definitely. But we're gonna take a shot for cuz, but we're gonna, <clears throat> this is a happy note. Happy note, let's do it. Yeah, we yeah. really proud for you. Thank and you, this, man. And this is, this is probably my last question after this. We're really proud for you. Thank you. Salute. Before you say that, let me just say, thought I was gonna stop Pat Post featuring Two Chains, Remy Ma, Lil Wayne, and Boston Rhymes is available on all digital platforms. Guys. Let's yeah. go, baby. Salute. Let's this take this down. This is the best podcast in the world. Let's take this down. Hey. Let's take this down. Hey. Let's take this down. Let's I gotta say that on Drink Chains. It's the biggest podcast in the world. Thank you, thank you, man. Let me ask you this because there's a rumor, and you define this rumor. But when people say lyrical, Artists are not, don't have money. Mm -hmm. Do you agree with that? Obviously, you you can't agree with that because mm -hmm. you outside. Mm -hmm. uh, but is that the norm? If if a person is lyrical and is just is does his life? If he doesn't have the option of going on love and hip hop, or he doesn't have the option of you know being married to like most lyrical MCs. What do you think for lyrical MCs? How, how are we going to... Let me say this. <clears throat> you have some lyrical artists who are versatile mm. and they're able to transition and do other things and make hit records mm. like Nori did. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Back in the day. Mm -hmm. But yeah, but, I, <laughs> but I want y'all to know... I wanna, I want you, I, I'm going to say this. And a lot of people are going to disagree with me. And I want you to know that this is coming from a person who is not broke. Mm. Person who lives in a mansion. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Wears nice, talk, wears nice jewelry, drives nice cars. Mm. My daughter is set for life. Mm. I'm going to say this. Say it. Money isn't everything. Woo. Absolutely. It's not everything. Woo. You understand what I'm saying? And money doesn't make you a lyricist. Money doesn't make you a man. Money doesn't make you who you are. Mm. Character, dignity, loyalty, and respect makes you Ooh. who you are. Ooh. Don't measure a man's character, mm -hmm. ability, or talent by money. Ooh. You got a flight? Yeah, I do, man. All right, I'm gonna get you one more shot. Let's get out of here, man. <laughs> oh, one, one more shot. shot. Yeah, one more shot. Cause that, that, that was the perfect way to end it, man. I, shit, I I'm can't just even... being honest, man. Yeah, yeah. Salute, my brother. I'm being well, honest. Like, like Don't hate told me you. for what I said today, guys. Like we told you, nah, listen. Never that, you gotta man. do drops. You gotta do pitches. Let's do it. Whatever you need me to do, so, man. I'm happy to do it. Let me just tell you again. Because we like fake cousins, too. Remember that. Let's just we not all. forget that. Y'all are. Like, <laughs> me and Nori related. Why y'all fake cousins? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Gotta yeah. Let it go. Not speaking with it. Yeah, no, no, really. Really. We related. We related, yeah, yeah, man. We related on the low. Yeah, on the low. I wish I would have knew that back in the days, yeah. man. I was trying to get on. You would have been a humble boy. I would have been, been on like, yo, Nori, can I get on the song? <laughs> Let's take this. But hey. our show. Hold on. Respect. Pat Poose, you a legend. Thank you, man. You a dude that stood the test of time. You could have cracked. You could have folded. You could have left your wife. You could have did a lot of dumb shit. Real talk. And you stood there. You stood. I watch you at times, and I want to be a better version of me. Mm -hmm. Thank you, brother. Because I sit back and I say, damn, you know, I want my wife to know I love her just as much as that. That what you what you show and you dis distribute, and um, that's why I did Love and Hip Hop too, because wow. it was just like you know what it was it was two reasons. It was like I I can be that better version of me, and I can be that better version of me and on TV, and then it's also when DMX passed away, like Rest in peace. that dude. I, I spent the last two weeks of his life. He every single day X with me. Six weeks, six weeks, every single day, X with me, and I'm just fucking with him. 
Damn, I'll get a little emotional. I'm bugging out. But um, and when he passed, I wanted to do the same thing I did when my father passed. So when my father passed, it was 1998. This is the biggest year of my life. I had the number one record, the number one album, number one, and then I lost my father. It looked good on you, man. Your father was a boxer, man. Yeah, yeah. So on, I, I say you. that to say, so I did this, but at the end of the day, had it not been the image of you and Rim. Wow. Like how y'all held it down. Like, yo, you could do this. You could navigate through this and be still be you. Mm-hmm. It, I, wouldn't have, I wouldn't have been able to survive. Like, like. The ex shit hit me real hard. It's wow. still hitting me. Like, I still cry. Like, you know, that's just like my my brother twin. Like, you know, yeah, the other day, you know, I, I, I'm just me, JB, we in the crib. I was just crying just because because of my, my my boy twin. Because I be trying to be tough, but in all reality, I'm not. It hurt. Like, I'm actually a human. It so hurt. I say that to say I want to thank you. I want to thank you as an artist. I want to thank you as a father. I want to thank you as a husband. Thank you. I want to thank you because. It's versions of you that I say, you know what? Let me straighten up. Mm. Who can't be out here being better than me in every version? <laughs> <laughs> He's battling you. Okay. Can I say something to Nori? Yeah. I want to apologize to you, brother, because you messaged me mm. and you invited me to your anniversary. Yes, I did. And I tried everything in my power yeah. to make it, and I couldn't make it. I know it was a wonderful anniversary, anniversary without out, me being there. It turned out I great. only couldn't imagine. But I want to thank you for being an advocate for black love and living mm. it out through your family structure. Yes. And I want to thank you just for that alone, yes. brother. So let's give a round of applause. Let's close. give a round of applause. Let's take a picture and wrap it up. And I want to say one thing. I'm going to say this since we're talking about relationships and marriage. Yes. I got to say it. I say it all the time. One more shot. A woman is the most... Oh, before I say it, I'm going to take a shot. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> one more shot. Let's do it. I got to say it. I'm sorry. I, I do the same shit. That's crazy. Me and my wife, that's why we wrap it up. Like, because I feel, married, I feel married people should hang yeah. with married people. Yes. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Please. Because we bounce off each well, other. It's, it's therapeutic. And I hope I still can get an invite, even though I didn't make the last. No, one. you get the invite. We Thank be you. doing it every fucking year. I man. gotta come, man, because yeah, you invited salute, me. Salute. And I now couldn't get it. Let's just this. take a flick and do the drop. Let's get out of here. Wait, what's that finishing statement? Before I'm gonna say this last thing, in case you're not married, I want to let you know. A woman is the most precious jewel, more precious than the ruby, emerald, diamond, or sapphire. Each man has to take one woman and rise her above the rest so she can show the world how precious she truly is. Meaning, if you don't put your woman on a pedestal and show her that loyalty and that love, you cannot respect that in return, my brothers. Peace. Mm. Jesus. Right. I'm, about to, I'm about to say, can you do a 16? You can't do a 16. <laughs> you good. You drunk. I just want them to get... Uh, Thought I was gonna stop featuring two change, Ray Molly. There we go, there we go. There we go.